and we're gonna we're gonna put the uh, so basically we're gonna stream this. You know, in the RPIS, we stream things. We're gonna do that. YouTube, that's going. Oh man, so many things. Kevin's here. All right. So what I wanted to do was bust this out. So this is the, uh, everyone should have gotten this link. So I'm gonna put it in the chat for everyone's convenience. And this is, this is like the, the central point for the links we're gonna be using today. Um, so the Zoom link, if you get lost, it's there. Um, we got a schedule. Um, it looks like this guy. Um, so a good idea of what order we're going in. We've got this presentation is, um, there's some stuff at the beginning, but it's each world has a slide. Um, and it has links to the team's theming plan, uh, a link to the download for the world. And this is the order of the worlds too. So as we're going through, um, we're gonna try to get a, a sense of like who's gonna be doing what world. And if people need to download, um, they can go to the playable build link here uh, and download it. If you wanna like start downloading things early or something like that, um, there's a link to, the, to the, um, the Google Drive folder with all the links in it as well. Um, so, uh, we have that, uh, and then the thing that we're doing that those of you who've been around jury before, uh, we have a, uh, a Google form for doing the evaluation stuff. So you'll be putting your name in, uh, you'll be selecting the world from here and then giving it a rating one to five, um, comments, all those fun little things. Um, and then you will just be filling this form out multiple times over for different worlds. Um, and then we have the link to the YouTube live stream, which I won't click on right now because it'll make things weird. Um, so hopefully most of that makes sense. One thing that I think we did want to go over um, is looking at, let's see if this works. Uh, the beginning of this slide has um, some stuff about uh, the festival. And one of the things that we're doing is for the most part, we're looking at the virtual space, um, which is the virtual festival. Um, but one of the possibilities, um, and this will probably be something that we talk about, um, is worlds can be hosted on the website. We're going to have like uh, visual story stuff hosted on the website and things like that. Um, so if there are worlds that we want to showcase, but don't really fit into like the synchronous um, shared space of the virtual festival, um, the website is a possibility for like, hey, this is a cool world. Um, you can download it and play it and you can celebrate it. Um, and it's sort of like, it's sort of the asynchronous version. There's like, the, so the virtual space is synchronous. Um, it's probably gonna be a Zoom call that coordinates things. And the website is asynchronous. It's there um, and we can sort of like showcase that as well. And the, the evaluation form has a little checkbox to say, this world makes most sense for virtual, virtual space or website or both. Maybe, maybe it's something that um, could work equally well. Um, and so actually I didn't, let me, let me stop the share here. I did not share for, uh, optimize for video. All right, do this again. Um, so I think some of you got a chance to be in the virtual festival, um, in the play test, uh, a week ago, Sunday. Uh, I got a chance to see this. Uh, Annie, do you want to um, talk through this a little bit? Um, okay, so um, this year we have a project team, the Cloudworks. Um, we built something like the whole MMO online platform for the virtual festival. So here is a video of like a, it shows like, yeah, can you click on it? And I help, thank you. So this is what it looks like on the virtual festival, each um, guest and student and faculty and staff will get uh, an avatar and you can hop into. So where, where, where I am at in this space is a PVW room. So each world selected will get a room that they can um, design for themselves. So 
in the room, there will be um, a place where they can download the build and hop onto the Zoom call. <clears throat> and I hope I walked into another one. Okay, so here's like a chat booth. So the chat booth is where you can talk to each other um, through audio and the floppy disk is where you can download and you can hop onto the Zoom and play together with everyone else. I and, uh, won the game. Oh, that was from the Zoom call. And there's like a little um, talk bubble up there, like rotating is the one that you can leave comment to the world. So we ask each team to kind of design their theming um, around this. Like, where do you want the guests to download? Where do you, how do you want the guests to join your Zoom call? And what does it look like in the Zoom call? Something like that. Um, any questions on your mind? <laughs> Yeah, so like um, each guest can kind of hop in and out uh, from the Zoom call and everything is windowed. So you can easily like switch between this virtual festival build and um, other builds that you open up or like other Zoom rooms that you're in. And you can also um, chat with each other through text or like go into a chat booth to chat talk to each other through room. audio. Oh, locked. <laughs> That audio came from um, the Zoom call that I just joined. Uh, but this chat booth is blocked. So yeah, that's about it. You have three players? Oh, okay, we do. Oh yeah, I, I joined. Oh, I that. So that's a little quick look at the virtual festival. Um, and, oh wait, let's see. Uh, and so some of the things that uh, students can do, and the, the theming plan that students submitted is linked in the, um, the World Info slideshow. Um, and some of the stuff they can do is they can have YouTube videos pop up in the virtual room to sort of give backstory, tutorial information, um, and they can link to Zoom calls and basically launch a Zoom call to sort of coordinate the synchronous play of what's going on. Um, yeah, so there's like, you go in, teams can put things in and launch stuff. So possibly play like a, a, a little, little bit uh, pre-show. So when we're looking at um, the, the worlds teams are making, if there's like a, if there's stuff that makes sense that they might need to split out into like a video or tutorial, it's something we can suggest to them. Um, and so with that, yeah, you can launch Zoom calls. Um, and uh, when you look at the theming plans, there's some, a little bit to think about just like, does the team have a, a good thought of it? We're going to figure this out mostly when we get festival running, like how did teams negotiate the running of the world, but it is something we want them to own. Um, so how to get guests moving and know what to do, know what to play. Um, and so it's part of, uh, you know, a big part of jury is thinking about how the festival will run. And so this stuff is is part of what we're looking at. And I think that's about it um, for stuff uh, in terms of uh, festival and theming things. So um, what we're gonna do, I think, is get ready to, um, to get started. Um, and we've got, I guess with that, we've got a, a, our first world. Uh, and I think we need four players for it, is that right? Oh, wait, we're... It can take four to six. Four to six. Yes. So I guess if people have it downloaded um, and Ooh, um, or want to get ready to get playing on this, um, it's the first one in the list. It's Shop Fight. Um, you can also just watch after joining the this world. Yeah. Like, Passively, yeah. the world's allow you to be a um, spectator. Yep. Um, while we're at that, should we have um, jury members download Team Thirty Eight too? What was that? Uh, should we have um, jury download the world that comes after this one too? Yeah, we should. I think uh, we should have uh, people start downloading the Team Thirty Eight's world too. Okay, yeah, so if you go over to Team 38, um, to the download playable build, um, that world needs uh, four players.
All right, so uh, do we have uh, at least four volunteers for the first world? Uh, I created a room, um, but I don't see anybody else around yet. Well, it sounds like the world is, well, we're going to let the team in. They're going to help uh, facilitate the running of it. Gotcha. So it's really just like, so you got, all right, Zach, you're in? You, you sure. Can, so you can run it. <laughs> okay. I will create the room jury. It, this is my first time doing this. It's kind of complicated. And worlds go full screen, going back and forth to Zoom. So I, I can do it. It's open. Do I click start game? Do you want me to? Let's, uh, let's, all right. So welcome team. We're going to. Hi. Team 37. Welcome yes. to jury. Thank you. Hello. You guys want to you guys want to uh, tell us what we're gonna do and help us get it going? Um. Yeah. Sure. So um, our game is uh, a multiplayer online game. Um, requests at least like four player, but it can be more. So um, um, the maximum number in the room uh, at the same time should be eight. So um. Um, we're gonna share the screen uh, so you can see the the creator room things. Um, Who um, should so, create a room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone can create a room. So, uh, Dave, are you going to play this? Spell? I'm not gonna play. We're gonna have the other jury members play. I. So, Mo, you want to create the room? I think Zach already mentioned that he created a room. I do have one, but I can always join one if somebody else oh, no. creates it. Can we join your room? Uh, but I'm also, I also downloaded it. I didn't see any room up there, though. Let me try it again. I, I, I have okay. to spectate. All right. The name of the room is Jury. If you don't see something show up, something might be going wrong. <laughs> Let me check my firewall. OK. Let me try again. Oh, so I create a room now as a host. Can you see that? No. It's also named as a jury. Um, Steph, is the team using the new file, new build that names with the team number, or are we using the one last night as Shopify? Uh, the new one. The new one, okay. That should be the one that's linked in the, um... Yep, I'm on the folder. Yeah, so... I can see Leo's room. Yeah, I, and I also saw Mike and Steph here. I, I don't know how to make myself ready, but I'm in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't see other people's rooms, so I'm thinking I'm probably the odd one out here. So I'll just uh, observe. Um, so should I share my screen? Okay. I just showed up, should I run? I just got it downloaded. Yeah, you, you can just open it. You can just run it and. Yeah, I got it up and running. I don't see any room. How do so I make myself just ready? Observe too. There's a not ready button up there. So when you click on not ready, it'll turn into ready. What kind of backward logic is that? That's unusual. <laughs> Should I also share my screen? Um, will you be doing the like host view? Yeah, I can do the host view. Okay, yeah, share your screen. Okay. Oh, this one is a host view and Everyone's ready now. So I'm going to start the game.
Ja. So um, that's uh, probably the, the gameplay we should um, experience. Awesome, thank you. I guess, uh, any questions uh, by the jury? I, I, I had about a one frame per second experience. So obviously my computer is not powerful enough to run this. Are there min specs on what's needed to run? I'm two generations old from ETC equipment for this home. Computer. Sure. Um, yeah, so now, now uh, we use a, a different uh, pipeline to render the in the game. So it may require the high quality for the um, GPU and CPU to run this game. Uh, we are going to, um, if we be selected for the festival, um, the next round we are to do is to um, try to make it like more um, fe feasible for the most of the computer it can run. So Dave, is there a min spec for the festival? We're, I mean, not, not like explicitly in terms of like, have teams designed explicitly a, a, a well, or, I guess, I guess like, what I mean is I think we're going to need to communicate to guests like we have, we have either on a per world basis or on a. Uh, yeah, no. And it's one thing we're, we're working on, like some of the worlds have hardware requirements and other things like that. So part of what we're going to I think Jerry's going to be doing is like looking at that and how do we communicate that to guests like you might be able to run this, you might not. OK. So there, there was no tutorial or anything, and I spent maybe the first ninety seconds just trying to understand what the game even was. Um, is is there going to be any explanation or hosting or anything? Oh uh, yes, yeah, sorry. Um, so when it, the first time we run it, it's just uh, too nervous to skip that. Oh uh, yeah, we we do have a tutorial, and when we show the screen uh, in the in our main room, um, we're planning like we because uh, it's a Windows uh, for the for the gameplay and. Uh, so the rest of the screen, we are showing the um, PowerPoint or slideshow to show that those uh, tutorial and like how they queue, how they assign the team. So um, when the guests join our Zoom, they can see like the gameplay and also see the tutorial at the same time. Okay. The, the controls were WASD JK, right? Yeah. Okay. So care, people were picking up, picking up stuff bashing each other with it and then trying to take it all to the cashier's desk, yeah. I assume. Okay. And the most things we are going to looking for the next uh, next step to improve is about our um, the incentive to um, for attacking people. Because now uh, the strategy in the game is more like to rush into the cashier and check out your um, everything you want to buy. So uh, we want to make there's more feedback and like the like also some like score or points for the people who attacked people, uh, each other. So we can make the, the whole gameplay become more chaotic and more fun. Cool. All right. Thank you very much, team. Yeah, thank you very much. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. I'm admitting the next team. Yep. So, Next team is 38. 38. And for people keeping score, the the link to the evaluation form. If you want to fill that out now, if you want to like wait on that. And team 38 is four guests. Correct? Yes. Correct. Oh, whoops. I just realized my download got paused out. <laughs> uh, I can play 38. I just finished downloading. Oh, interesting. I wonder if I didn't see anybody because I, I wonder if it was putting me in the US West region. 
I think that's what's going on. Oh yeah, I'm in also in the US West. Uh, oh, I see. I see a jury this time. Hey, yay! I'm gonna join. Let's go. <laughs> All right, team. You wanna help us get it started? Yeah. So, um, can anyone of you guys just share the screen? Uh, sure. Oh. Yeah, so basically, so if everyone's ready, um, I think like the master player can just start the game. I have seen everyone's ready for um, setting, just get on, right? yeah. Oh, I yeah, I think Brian, Brian. Should uh, I should I start the game? Yeah, just start the game. Yeah. Um, did you share a sound? Maybe you would like to share a sound. Oh, uh, let me check. Thank you. Um, can you hear now? Yeah. Okay. Stun you guys so fast, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I actually didn't know what what was the uh what was the penalty? Like the I think there's like a balance issue right here. I think we like needed was, to like yeah, yeah do it again. We were supposed to I think the problem was we had to mm -hmm. use flashlights to stun the ghost. Um yeah. but I think everybody nobody saw the ghost first. So as a spectator I had no idea what I was looking at. Yeah, the tutorial was seemed functional. Um, I just had no idea what was going on. Was it yeah. Wait. supposed um, to be a co-op or competitive? Um, it's same. three versus one. Yeah, it's a three. Yeah, it's a three oh, versus okay. one. Yeah. Do we want another round? Is it possible to do a optimized uh, screen sharing? Yeah, because it's very really laggy. Mm, let me stop yes. sharing then. I might be the. Can somebody else do a share? There's an option to optimize screen share. I think. Oh, oh, okay. Let me see. I have a qu During the festival, will there be someone sharing the screen for spectators or no? In the Zoom call? Uh, during the festival, we'll have like observing. Oh, I like, see. Uh, yeah, we'll have like ob ob observing Ooh. camera. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay, uh, I'm uh, trying again with optimized screen share, so hopefully that will help. I'll mention that I tried to play, but when I launch it, like 
just nothing happens. It just fails to launch. So oh, interesting. And I'm not, Same. I don't know why. I don't mm. know why. Uh, when I run it, the, there is a okay, Windows security alert. You need to click advanced and still run. Yes, I did that. And yeah. then it did nothing and nothing it came up and no window opened. And I'm not, I'm, I'm going to go look in the task manager and see if something's hiding in there. I'm not really sure what's going on. Yeah, I, it, 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 wants, it wants firewall permission. So it asked for a couple of things. Yeah, I think there's a lot of like about view more details and then it'll let you run it um, once you confirm that you want to run it. I, I saw it uh, delete from my folder as I was trying to open it and, and uh, I even clicked run. <laughs> Would we have instructions for um, the festival guests that they need to unblock um, if they need to download the build or no? Yeah, they need to download the build. Okay. Because I got the Windows firewall as well and I had to unblock the app, probably because the computer I'm using, I haven't used Unity in it before. Yeah, I, I think that's going to be a real issue for guests, definitely. Yeah. That it's probably going to be a tough thing for every game, so we'll have to bear that in mind. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I, I can't figure out how to get this running. I don't I don't understand. Uh, do you want to try sharing on your side, and maybe we can uh, help help you out with that? There's really there's nothing to see over here. I, I click the, no. icon, the wheel spins, and then nothing happens. Mm. So I, I'm not sure. And I, I look in the task manager. It's not running as far as I can see. I wonder if it's maybe failing to even connect, and so it's just never getting to the main screen. I don't know. Did you guys want to run this game another time? I'd be fine with giving it another whirl. We have about sure. three more minutes if we want to be like five minutes. We can skip to 12. We can skip the tutorial and then I don't know who the host is, but I think it's Ruth. Okay. All right, I'm skipping tutorial. Pressing E. Uh, All right. Oh gosh, it's done right, the ghost. Looking. I'm gonna spin in a circle. Oh, well, I see him. I see. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna do this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. How can I stop it? No. Well, I'm, I'm the only toad alive. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh I see. Yeah, so I you. Can. I, yeah, I okay. can't. Save it. Actually, yeah, I it. Yeah. The tricky part is that the uh, the flashlight, I think it, it turns off pretty rapidly. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll stop sharing. Cool. Any more questions for the team before we move on to the next world? I, I will put out there that I dug into my virus protector and it it uh, it is aggressively quarantining every time I try and run this app. That is what's happening. So uh, I'm not quite sure how to get around that. So I'll have to. It's going to be an interesting question for the festival. Um, how how are we going to get past that kind of thing? And this is the this is really new territory for BBW, which is yeah. making tools that can run outside of BBW. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, team. I think we're going to move on to the next world. Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm going to see what happens when I run 39 here. Is that the next one? It is. Yeah. Okay. So, team 39, I believe, can go up to 10 people if we want. Hello. Hello. Welcome, team. You want to talk to us a little bit about what we're going to do? Yeah, sure. Uh, so everyone can play this game at the same time. Uh, more people is better. 
and you will well, there's a tutorial so i think it's hopefully self-explanatory um we encourage talking during gameplay and that's about it if someone could share a screen that'd be nice Man, I can't run this one either. But this one's not showing up as a threat, so I don't know what's happening. Okay, if someone wants to share a screen, that'd be nice. I am still downloading, so. Yes. Uh, I got downloaded, being, but I'm looking over the tutorial. Let me, uh, I guess I'll do a screen share. Okay. But I'm not sure I can actually connect. Okay. I'm in it, but I forgot I, I lost the instructions. So, wet, WASD moves. How do I pick up these things? Uh, it should be in the bottom left corner. You can see all the controls. No, it, it disappeared when I switched to zoom in back. Oh, ah. Uh, I don't no. know what you're seeing then. Right. The... Oh my gosh, the game speeds up real fast, okay. Um... Okay. Oh jeez. Where are you so far? I don't know. I think the game is, uh, <laughs> potentially... <laughs> I got stunned by my spike trap, good to know, okay. Yeah, it, 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 oh gosh, oh no. Because <laughs> I played that, I don't have the same issue. Yeah, I, it why. started out fine, and then I uh, picked something up and put it down, and I, I am now in, well, yeah, yeah okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's tower defense. Is this multiplayer or single player? Multiplayer. Okay. Okay. Oh gosh, and that oh, quit. Oops. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hold on. Let's see if I can join a room somehow. Yes, feels better. So Making sense. No, it's like a tower defense, but forced me to pass by two poison fats. Okay, so here it starts over there. You have to make him go through two poison fats. Let's get along. 
stone pile. This one actually seems pretty straightforward. Passing two poison boats? Yeah, yeah. I think so, yeah. <laughs> but you can only discard your pile. Right. Oh. I'm switching to bird's eye, so that's, yeah, it seems fine. Go with time, or should we just keep playing? Okay, we have got we got some buffer built in. Cool, cool. Yeah, how, how long does this go? How many levels are there? Uh, there's only three for now. Uh, for festival, uh, we'll run for the entire three-hour block, but then people are expected to drop in and drop out. So at every opportunity, they'll be like, um, you know, you can exit after every round, or you can join the game whenever. So I can quit this game and rejoin. Um, yeah. Okay. So I think we need to get it to the upper one as well. Does the hero arrival time drink with more builders? Uh, no. The time it takes for gear to get there is consistent. Hold on, we need to block the whole pathway off here, right? Yeah, I think so. So we need to get it to go over the bridge and then back through the other teleporter. Yeah, nice. God damn these spike, spike traps. <laughs> yeah, it might be interesting to have a way to destroy because it seems uh, right now, if you commit incorrectly, you you could you could screw over the the game a little bit. Right. Yeah, but there's a discard button, K, but it doesn't work. I think that's for I think that's for picking up something you've already picked up. But it doesn't. Oh. There's no way to interact with okay. the actual okay. things you placed. Um, oh yeah. Uh, the uh, also the spike traps is stunning. The players only working is an interesting challenge. One, one change that we're looking to make between festival, uh, jury and festival is that we're going to have multiple objectives per round. So okay. a composite of, you know, the hero has to take this long to get there versus the hero has to place the base checkpoints and like a wild card goal. Uh, something that we think is very common is like the three star system where you can earn zero to three stars per level. So we'll have that with three objectives and that will encourage guests to keep building the traditional objectives. Oh, I can go through. Um, yeah, because as you can tell right now, you guys aren't doing anything for a full minute. So by having kind of stretch goals, that will encourage more building and more chaos as people try to reach different goals. 
Yeah, it's interesting. It's, it's really reminiscent of like a standard tower defense game, but it has no towers. <laughs> or, yeah. <laughs> Wait, my hero is just walking yeah. fine. But I'm not, oh, wow, that's what I was trying to say. Oh, he's moving now. Beat run. Sorry, <laughs> Jesse, can you repeat that? I was going to say that uh, the setup time seems a little uh, long, um, but I'm not playing. Did it, How did it feel to people who were playing? Uh, it, it definitely felt long for the third one. Okay. Um, yeah, first one felt just right. Um, but that was, I, I think that was the one where all three pieces made sense. Um, sand traps right. didn't make sense after the first level, which was interesting. Um, spike traps too, kind of didn't make sense after the first level. Yeah, I, I think it needs to shrink depending on how many players there are. The more players, the faster that hero arrival time is. Yeah, we're thinking more in the map of, in the realm of like level balancing. So right now the levels increase from smaller to medium to big, and then for festival they will all be like the same size because we're running this world indefinitely, right? Uh, I, and then timing for each level will be adjusted accordingly. And because there's multiple objectives, like that helps pad out the time. I appreciate how uh, playable it was, though. That was nice. I hope you guys had fun. Yeah. It, uh... Cool. All right. Ready to move on to the next world? Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, team. Cool. Thanks. We're on to team 40, I believe, which is... Uh, Two guests. Morning. Are we going to be running over each game again later in like afterwards while we're talking? So, it, or, or should we be filling out the evaluations now? Uh, I would. I mean, I think it's it's up to you if you want to take notes and fill out the evaluations like a little gotcha. bit. Gotcha. Want to like save the URL and go back and edit them. Um, but okay. It's designed to submit them on a rolling basis. And gotcha. One who's joining us in the for on jury. This is the oh, that's the YouTube link for the stream. Uh, This is the evaluation form for people who need a, a reference for it. But I guess Team 40, you want to talk, tell us what we're going to do? So we basically just need two players to download the game to their local machines and join the room on, on Photo and start play. Do you want someone to share screen with that as well? Or are, you, are you guys going to handle that? Um. Wait, so whoever creates the room is going to be the the, the left hand uh, holding the, the food. So whoever uh, joins that room is going to be the right hand uh, holding the knife. So I would love, we would love to sh have one of the two players in the share screen. Yeah. I got it up and running and create a room. I mean, create a kitchen. <laughs> Do you want to do the uh, screen share, Brian? Sure thing. I have it downloaded. Okay. I didn't see any kitchen. I think there could be a server issue where. Um, um, you have to click things. ready. Okay. Yeah. 
But we still need a second player, right? Yeah, we need a second. Okay. I'll see if I can join. I'm still not seeing it. I, I'll restart the game and see what happens. I'll um, see if I can run the game. Fresh button for the server. Um, I think Brent got it right. Like, there could be a potentially a server problem. That, um... Yeah, it's it seems similar to the very first game. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. for me at least, where I'm, I'm I'm able to run the game, but there's no other kitchens to join. Uh. Yeah, I didn't uh, see any. Okay. I created another kitchen just in case. Um, if if someone could join the other room, I think they can just start sharing their screen. I think we'll have to see if anybody finds anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> we just I mean, need two I mean, people that can connect. Kitchens. Uh, I yeah, I've I've made a kitchen called Jury Kitchen, but I. I let me try again. Oh, so, um, I think it's like if you're in China or you're like in the west part of the United States, you can't really find okay. a room, so. a kitchen created in Pittsburgh. Yeah, okay, I'm going to leave my kitchen then. Uh, I will assume I can't play then and observe. No, I, I, I could not kitchen. I made a Pittsburgh kitchen. <laughs> that's, that's a nice name. <laughs> hmm. Are all the games using the same networking backend, or was it was that kind of open to teams when they were building it? Um, every team will be using Photon. Okay. Photon. But if a gas is from China or from a different part of the world, will they not able to find a room to join a game? Well, that's the weird thing is for the first game, I was like nothing worked. For the second game, I was totally able to join just fine. Um, the third game as well. So, I guess yeah, I joined me. the game too. Yeah, so so this one seems to fall in the same bucket as the first game, where it, it may just not work randomly for people. Yeah, we're going to be working with all the teams to figure out the uh, server issues, but um, I see that one group was able to make a kitchen, whoever's in t to jury kitchen. Yeah, I'm having a real hard time listening to you guys try to follow the instructions and try to think about, should I share my screen when I have a, a week? <laughs> Can the other person share their screen? Who else is in the Pittsburgh kitchen with me? Uh, All right, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> Someone is ghosting. <laughs> I, I created another kitchen. Can you see my jewelry kitchen? Ruth is in a. Uh, Let me check. There. Okay, I, I'm sharing it. Can you see it? Yeah. I'm in one, but it's just sitting on the ready screen. So I can hold this, I can, and then the cutter has to be moving their mouse back and forth to cut this piece of meat. Who's in Pittsburgh Kitchen with me? This is a. It's a two person game. I'm the left hand holding the meat. And all of a sudden, So, whoever, whoever was in Pittsburgh Kitchen had to be the right hand cutting. Uh, Mike, it seems like you started the game without the second person. So. Oh, it let me start a game without oh. a second person? Uh, like you just start a game without the second person, so that's why you can see see the knife. Oh, oh, that's kind of a bad. Yeah, because we closed the room while the game starts, so you might have to re recreate the room. Yeah, I, I still don't. I checked again. I still don't see any other uh, rooms. Me neither. Yeah, I don't see it. Uh, I can. I can I'm, try I'm, again. I'm digging the that that United States of America though. That's pretty. Yeah, United States of America. 
So I think Steph and Ruth are like in the room together. If yeah, um, by that, but, but um, it, it's just it. sitting on ready. It's not yeah. doing anything. Um, I haven't started it yet. That's why. I'm, I'm in a room with Reba too. Yeah. Should I, should we start? Go ahead. If you, yeah, gotta... you, you go ahead. So Mike, yeah. I want. So I'm playing on a different computer, a laptop. So would you be possible for you to share the screen as you sure. on a different laptop? I know how to do that again. now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> oh no. I'm not sure which hand I'm going to be. Best in whole space. I guess this would be a mystery. So this is like taking okay. Surgeon Simulator another level. Oh, yeah. OK, guess we'll find out in a second. <laughs> Keep your fingers, Reva. <laughs> fingers, fingers left. Hey. So we basically have five lives. Is Slippery a modifier on the current level? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. oh, oh no. God. <laughs> Reva, you're, you're the hand. I'm trying to you gotta pick up the you gotta pick up the food. I keep losing the head. <laughs> gotta hold wait, it. you pick it up? You... Oh wait. You press, okay. press the wait. space bar. And you have hold. to press space bar to hold ah. it. Yes. Okay. Oh my god. I got this uh, back. Uh, <laughs> Move it up there. Let's get another piece. Okay. Oh, we can't pick the piece back if it's too big in size. Okay. Wait, where, where can I get the piece from? Uh oh, I think you dropped the piece below the camera. <laughs> but this sure is fun. <laughs> uh, so he, he has not into oh, no. oh no! I did that on purpose. I just wanted to see what was going to happen. I mean, <laughs> at, at this point, it becomes a hand shopping simulator. <laughs> That's... There you go. You gotta bring the, the meat down to the shopping area. I don't think she can pick up a piece once yeah, it's cut. Yeah, I'm not able to pick up the piece that's cut already and on the other side. Uh, it's it's fun. Fun. Game. Yeah. Oh, I chop your fingers? I keep ruining my hand. Oh, there you go. Go ahead. Why are you cooking my hand? <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Oh, we lost. Oh. <laughs> well, that's just delightful. <laughs> we got the absolute. That was oh, pretty good. God. Absolute failure. Hey, that that one's uh. <laughs> it, actually, it actually was fun. <laughs> that was fun. I liked no, it. Uh, the winning in uh, end is awesome too. Yeah, I, 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 I like the art. It's playful. I like the sound effects, and I had fun. It'd be nice if there was a recovery mechanism or a like maybe a, a practice round for the first time to get bearings on it because yeah, yeah. that that seems like the the major. Uh, fail challenges is, is it's easy to just you can immediately cut one large piece of the meat and you're done yeah is it does the game usually have more steaks to cut or is it like just one steak and that's it i think there's other uh people. it has six dishes for you to cut but like surprisingly you just cut yourself like all five fingers so you basically ended the game well we had to end it because we couldn't reach the meat anymore yeah um I think so we have if, there, goat. if there is a tutorial, I think it should be deceptively easy so that the chopping of the fingers is a is a real surprise. So it, it seems to be super, super simple. Um, so then there's a like a bait and switch. We can we can try to run it quickly. Another I, got, I set up another room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Steph and I could do another room for sure. I, Steph, you're gonna, you're gonna do this together? Yeah, thank you. All right. All right. <laughs> okay.
share my screen. I... These are the pros. <laughs> I love that camera angle, by the way. <laughs> I land. I haven't played as the knife in a while, so RIP some of your fingers. I think we have a low bar to get over. <laughs> There, there's something be... about this, the hyper aggression on the cutting action. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I wow. Good job. Oh. controls for the, uh, to control the knife. I think it's like um, moving the mouse up and down. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh no! Inside the table. Interesting that the ah! Oh no, we ran out of time. <laughs> It's interesting that the potato seems to move backwards when it's cut. I don't know if that was happening with the other vegetables. Yeah, because it was slippery, probably. Oh, gotcha. Right, they did mention that. <laughs> oh gosh. Got one finger left. <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> nice job. I assume that's adjusted based on how many fingers are- well, no, they're all gone there. Yeah, they're all gone. <laughs> well, that's- that's gruesome. <laughs> Only suggestion is a sound effect when those fingers float up. That would that's that would that's yeah. the, that's the only thing I can think to add to this masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> that was right. great. Uh, you can use the uh, one of the slide whistles. Um, exactly that'll it. work really well. That's it. A slide whistle will do it. <laughs> that'll do it right there. Right. Good work, team. I think we're gonna move on to the next world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, next team is uh, Team 41. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I actually got things working this time. Um, I'm using a separate computer that uh, isn't quite so virus protected. Mm. This is Hot Chicks? Yep, max of 15 guests. Okay, I will try to grab it. 
Um, I could pop the link in the chat again if anyone needs it. If you, uh, Team 41, if you want to tell us what we're going to do, uh, go ahead and introduce this and give us a sense of how you want it to run. Hey, um, OK, so I think what everyone's going to do is just download the executable for hot checks with our client. Is, is that done already in advance? I, I, I typed yeah. my name. Is it just yeah, on the name screen? Um, yeah. So just type your name in, and we'll just we'll start the host before anyone should hit start, and that's it. Okay. Oh. So the, is there is there a UI to indicate the the room or anything? Uh, yes, there will be. We didn't implement it in okay. advance of jury. Um, gotcha. We have a room. Is you'll see it kind of in the intro sequence. We have a nest of eggs <laughs> that hatch into chicks, and gotcha. each person basically claims an egg. For one of those chicks. Okay. So the four of 16, it's a yeah. limit of 16. We got four people in so far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the room's open right now. Yeah. Okay. I'll try to join. I, no. I think I might be in the same state as the previous games, though. Yeah. I only see the start button and then it's not. Yeah. I pressed the start button, it grayed that. out, and that's it. So, yeah. yeah. Well, I, can, I can push it again, though, to <laughs> ungrade it out. I believe yeah. that's that's the correct state. Am I right yeah. in saying that, David? Okay. Yeah, I'm waiting for everyone to join. So once you oh, have okay. everyone, okay. then I'll start the game. Okay. Do so, I so... start or not? Yes. Just start start is start. ready, I assume here. Now you can click start, yeah. Okay. And just to reiterate, this this is this process is something that we've that we've iterated on since. We just haven't had time to like put it in the game yet. Now we Makes sense. Dirty, pass through okay. and we'll so is everyone connected? Everyone hit start. Oh. Yeah, I have no indicator of the actual yeah. room though, so I'm assuming I failed to connect. But looks like we have eight people ready to go. I all I see is like a nine out of sixteen, and no, no. Uh... Yeah, me too. Oh, I'll just observe this, Tom. I don't get the yeah. Okay. I don't get the nine yeah. out of sixteen. Sadly. Okay. I, mean, I, will, that. Uh, I will start it. Uh, if one of you could do a screen share, that'd be great. Then I can do that. Okay, I'm assuming. And if anyone has not been now. put in a game that was trying to get in, let us know. Yeah, I didn't make it in, but that's okay. I, I've had the same in. problem with other games. I, I, it's something to do with probably West Coast or yeah, some other probably issue going on. something with the West Coast server thing. Well, this is cute. I know we missed the beginning part of the intro, but there's a bunch of eggs. Some of them hatch, up to 16 of them hatch, and the other ones the farmer eats. And so that's their motivation as a chick. Oh, they're on fire, of course. It's hot chicks. What is happening? Um... I believe they're walking around and setting things on fire. Are there goals in this game? You're setting everything on fire? So they're, they're like, just to um, highlight this, we have a farmer. I'm not sure who's playing as the farmer. Would you out yourself if you are playing as the farmer? Someone who joined first is, is playing as the farmer, in this case, who is running around this this maze with a water bucket trying to stop these chicks there you go oh. oh and they're trying to so burn down the yeah so it's like an untitled bar. goose game but multiplayer oh version. you know what actually zachary i think it was you who joined first oh christ it didn't connect, so the farmer is <laughs> is idle so you want to you want to restart guys then i'm gonna yeah. announce it yeah probably That's unfortunate <laughs> i think <laughs> never... steph turned around yeah yeah <laughs> Okay. Right, good. Let us know when to join. Did it um, have my name or something? No, it did not. It didn't. Oh, okay. It didn't. Um, it said right, new just, text. Just a new text. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm. So, how, how do you do anything in the game? All I can do is walk around. So your your main method of doing things is by burning things, and so the chick is burning. You weren't able to burn things. No, I mean I, I walk around and walk into things, and nothing burns. 
So you might not have been on fire. So only, I, only yeah. you were yeah. on fire. Mm. Um, did you stand next to things for long enough? Oh, I don't know. You have to stand there for a long time. Is that how it works? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Got it. Three seconds, I think. Like till it turns red and burning. Gotcha. Oh, I see. All right. Okay. All right. I get it. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm starting the host again. Um, I think it might mess up if you unregister. So just push the start button and and leave it there. <laughs> so do we need to quit out and start again? Yes. Yeah. Quit yeah. out and then just click start. It, it said above some of the chicks, enter text. Will that be our name later? What? Why were they empty? Yes, yes, that should be your name. Okay. I think I think something messed up because we had a disconnect. Okay, also, if we'll, you unjoin we'll the room after that. joining it, sometimes it resets the name. Yeah. How do you unjoin? I think sometimes that happened for button. us that closed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're at, okay, I'm going to start it now. Uh, we should we should probably see if we can get the person who's the farmer screen sharing. Um, that was off. not me. So, who was the farmer? I don't know. I, I don't think we had a farmer last time. I think who that was the problem. Farmer? Do we have a farmer this time? We we I, must. I think we'll have to um, see. Well, they won't know yet we'll <laughs> because the names yeah. are. Yeah. Once the farmer finds out, I'll stop sharing so that they can start. Anybody a farmer? Raise your hand. Raise your non-virtual. Oh, I'm the farmer. <laughs> Would you mind screen screen? Nope. No fair getting stuff while I'm switching there. Okay. <laughs> Don't burn the farm down. Who keeps that much gasoline in their farm or in their, <laughs> you know, chick barn? I gotta say. Oh, that chick is moving me? Amazing. The chicks can really bother you as a farmer, especially because you can hear them. Is the uh, does the camera? I know. Do I have to, do you need to fill up water? Yeah, yeah, you're full. I got, okay. How do I know? So we have a uh, water level on the bucket going through. We also designed UI. Um, and how do I put out fire? Um, we just hit click the button, the mouse button. Oh, that's cool. Oh. It's chaos. <laughs> it is chaos. It should be noted that like the the chicks don't make those noises. <laughs> again, to make those noises to communicate. I I will I will mention that where I'm playing, none of the chicks ever moved. So oh, those dear. were probably AI chicks that we put in just as like placeholder chicks for now. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I never saw any moving figures anywhere in the world as I ran around. Ever? Ever, not one time. Everybody kind of static. And I'm still playing now. Yeah, I can see you moving around. That's so um, bizarre. That is kind I, of weird. I got to the center and blew everything up. <laughs> yeah, I figured yeah, it was, I saw. That, that was pretty committed. <laughs> Maybe like Jesse just spawned at a point where like there weren't any other tricks in the world. Maybe. Maybe. There could be maybe. an issue still. Yeah. It yeah. Looks like Jesse maybe got disconnected from like the rest of everything, especially if the game ended for everybody else and not Jesse. Yeah, the game's still going for me. Yeah, that's weird. Every uh, We saw the game, like the losing screen mm. pop up. So I'm, that's bizarre. Okay. I'm so sure sync what. issues potentially. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a problem with like so many people connecting and having to sync everyone. Uh, I had the we'll same problem. Not a single chick or the farmer was actually moving. Okay. That's interesting. I'm out of troubleshoot. Okay. 
All right. Well, I think we should move on to the next team. Yeah. All right. Definitely good feedback if we do. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, team. Thanks for cooperating with it. Yeah, thanks. Cool. All right, the next one is Team 42. Yep. Take four to six players. Probably four or six. I think it needs to be an even number. Yes, yes. 46 players, that's a lot. <laughs> Boy. Uh, I'm eight. Six. I don't know if I'm really connected to the server, but yeah, I'm. I'm just doing a tutorial right now. Uh, this one I actually played um, uh, at the spring or at the uh, play test, so I can probably just watch. But if you need another person, I'll download it again. Uh, try jumping on this other player to bump them off the map. Well, and I guess team, uh, tell us what you want us to do. I Hello. Uh, if you could uh, just start with the tutorial, and when you're done, you can go to the menu and click the purple start button. Yeah, whoever's playing the tutorial could probably actually screen share right now and uh, have everyone view it. Probably just share my screen throughout the tutorial so that everyone can see it. Makes sense. Good. All right, now the stream, the stream sound is playing through someone's speakers, I think. Sally. Yeah, I, I, I'm still working on the tutorial. In this game, you can click on a hexagon to jump to it. Try clicking on the yellow hexagon to jump there. If you jump onto another player's hexagon, you can bump them into a neighboring tile. Try jumping on this other player to bump them off the map. Icons do special things when you step on them. You can use this bomb icon to push nearby players away. In the actual game, players will all move at the same time. If you move to the same hex as another player, you'll both knock each other. They go where you were going and vice versa. Try knocking this moving player off the map. The spring icon makes you travel two more units in the same direction you entered it. You can use the spring icon to travel further than usual in one turn. Try jumping on it to reach that faraway bomb icon. You can also attack other players by setting them onto the spring icon. If you knock an enemy onto the icon, they'll keep traveling in the direction you knock them. The punch the icon hits enemies in a long line. You can hit enemies from any distance. The magnet icon pulls other players towards you and over you. Try using this magnet icon to flip the enemy over you and off the map. Careful! If the enemy is two units away when you use the magnet, they'll knock you. You might want this sometimes, though. See what happens when you jump to this magnet icon. The tornado icon rotates everyone two units around you. Have a look and see what it does. You also have a character class in this game, and each class has a unique ability. You're currently the artist, and you can right-click to create a paint drop. The paint drop will bump enemies before they get a chance to move. Try right-clicking to bump that enemy with your paint drop. The programmer can throw out a cube to stun enemies. Just like with the paint drop, you'll cancel this opponent's move. However, you also need to jump on them to bump them off. You can use your ability and movement in the same turn. Try right-clicking to use your ability and left-clicking to move in the same turn. The sound designer has a defensive shield that protects you from icons and makes enemies bounce over you. Right-click on this tile next to you to shield yourself and avoid getting bumped off the map. <laughs> So who can join this one? I, I'm in. I created a room. Um, there are five people. Stuff. Oh, what? I can join it too then. 
ก็จะได้เจอเซียนี่ครับใช่ไหมเป็นคู่โอเค Oh. Uh oh, I was artist during BBW, so I'm just gonna go with artist. Then. So uh, I think I uh, I'm stuck on loading screen, sadly. Oh, never mind. I'm in. I'm in. Everyone needs to click through the instructions. The uh, wait, what am I selecting? You have to pick oh, a, team, a slot. Team yeah, one yes. or two. Okay, yep. cool. So we still need this six player. No, we can three P. Oh well. What? Good, good work. Good work. <laughs> um. <gasps> Please keep that sound effect for the falling. It is it, it makes this <laughs> so <laughs> awesome? Wow! Nailed it. <laughs> How do you? Do I really this? don't understand when you can move. Uh, yeah, that, I, that's the tricky part. The game is synchronous, so you see that that bar counting down on the top. Oh, uh, nice. No, that's when it reaches yeah. the the end. You can click. So we should actually be done here because we're the same team. So that's a little odd. There's a no. there's a there's no, a there's player a... sitting. Oh, up at the top. oh, I see. Jesse was hiding. I didn't see him up there at the top. He wasn't visible yeah, on my screen. Like I, don't know, like I clicked to move, and it wouldn't let me move yeah. at any point. So uh, try again. So try left clicking, and then it'll go there once the bar reaches the end. Um. So I clicked. Okay, this time. Okay. Was... Yeah, yeah. It's the tricky part is if you click twice, you cancel the move. I think. Oh, okay. Oh, that. Now but I then the it. key is right clicking activates your ability. So, for example, uh. So wait, if you if you land on a square, it doesn't activate. You have to right click. Oh, if no, you, if, it, it, your ability. Yeah, your right click is your ability. How did I die? Oops, that's not what I did. Uh, oh, Ooh, nice move. Get this game, and I'm like, ah, but I also played like at the uh, last uh, during the play test. Ooh. So it it the 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 only problem is that it's not always clear. The, the it's not clear if your ability like the I think the idea is they color the hexes. Yeah. So uh oh, we got uh, a null reference that time. That's this is yeah. what happened last time as well. The second game, it basically crashed somewhere. So it's a best of three. So uh, we should uh, we would send people back to the lobby at this point, like back to the lobby list, so they could right. join new games. I see. Um, I think the null reference is from disconnecting, like people gotcha. disconnecting. We haven't handled that yet. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, do you want me? To, do you want us to send you the uh, the um, the stack trace? No, I I I I, I got it. I think I okay. got it. <laughs> cool. All right. Sweet. Um, does that other people want to play? That one's actually pretty fun. I guess any uh, any questions for the team before we move on to the next world? I'm good, y'all. I don't think. All right. Thank you, team.
And let's get the next world ready to go, which I believe, where are we? Uh, team 43? Yep, 43. Hello. Hey team, welcome. You wanna tell us what we're gonna play? Yeah. Um, first of all, all you need to download the executable. Um, preferably, we, we would like to have six guests and we want to pair them. Two, two guests will be one team and you will play the game competing with each other, but the, but the, per, but the two guests in one team will be um, collaborating with each other. And I'd like to share my screen so that after the play, you will see your score. Can I share my screen? Yeah. Um, can everybody see my screen now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Uh, let me do a quick I'm going to um, try to I run the game. Do you have room three now? Which one should I join? Sorry? I can see room two and room three. Yeah, OK. You can choose one of them. It's First of all, you pick up one partner. Then you can join. It's basically, it's, currently, you should see three rooms. And you can ask your partner which room you want to go. Yeah, I, I see one. I just uh, joined room three. Okay, Annie and Zach, I see two guests here. Uh, oh, Annie's left. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, for, oh, sorry, I I one can. thing. I forgot I one thing. You. If you, when you log in, <laughs> try to enter a name. Otherwise, your name will be player plus a number. <laughs> that you won't be. <laughs> Should we go in room three or what? I, I, I need somebody to join. Hey. Hey. hey, Brian. What up? So HK, HJK and L seem to be the controls, and that's transforming you into different animals, I assume? Yeah, I, I do believe it's like human, bird, horse, and what the other one? I don't remember. So at first, I hit join room three, and then oh, sorry, I yeah. saw that the room becomes oh, two of but I didn't see the, the room loading on my screen. Right, me. All right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I think we need to. Oh, hold on. I'm a. a... Okay. You gotta fly up here. Well, this is delightful. Oh, oh okay. Oh, we need... What am I doing am together? I, with my I. I didn't see. Okay, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say like. Um... My machine feels certain that I just got a virus from this game. Oh, oh wait. Oh, okay, we. I need to press like. Oh. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then you can go to. Who's in the room one with me? Okay. And then I'm going to Falcon. Oh wait. I think we're oh, two uh, only had. Huh. You can go through it first, and then I will open. That's you the up. trouble. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. I get you. Okay. And then horse Maybe there on will my be. side. There we go. And then you need to walk forward. And then I'll human to open the door. Ah, this is making sense. Okay. Well, we got a star. Why is your horse upside down? <laughs> what? What? It was upside down? What? Yeah. It was My upside horse down. Is just I was fine. like, what is I, happening? I, okay. Um, let me horse over here. Uh, I, I mean, horse. Okay. Dolphin. Oh, I dolphin. Oh, truly. no. <laughs> Why do we do it at the same time? <laughs> uh oh. I. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. Now we're upside down. Uh, Double dolphin was oh, there's hilarious. There's a cool down. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> um, Sally's still waiting for yeah, yeah, someone yeah. to play with. Um, if someone else wants to okay. join. There you go. Did that help you get through? Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, almost but there. there's you're a star there. up there. Oh, I see. Um, let me get Maybe. the star down here, and I'll come I, over. I can yeah, play yeah. With Let's you, Sally. do that first. 
Okay. All right, I'm coming up uh, here. I'll. I pulled the nice. Here. Okay. Got it. Oh no, you gotta keep. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, I appreciate this one is fairly understandable pretty much immediately. Yeah. Um, I think the only the only painful bit is the cooldown on transformation yeah. as a as a as a dolphin is a little painful. But can humans swim? No, why? Yeah, you just switch into dolphin, dolphin and then switch and then... to the eagle when you're yeah. up the top. Yeah, there you go. Oh, and then I do this first. Oh, we got it. We got to uh, start the out other here. One. The switch oh, first. Well. All right, I got I it. I think the button. You got it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what's down here. Um, oh, there's a whole other. Oh my gosh, oh, this is huge. A, okay, this is really nice. But is there a point well, of having a mini horse map to, on to, my right yeah. top side? I don't. I think it's just for locating the other person. <laughs> oh yeah. So. Oh okay. I'm. I don't know what I'm doing, but oh oh. oh okay. I've done so. Oh oh yeah. All right, I just want to explore <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> oh, there's another star. Yeah, the uh, the openness of it is actually quite quite interesting. Okay, I'll go yeah. get the button. It. Uh, oh. Did you guys ever play a uh, Toki? What is it? Toki Tori. Night. It's very reminiscent of Toki Tori. Oh, I'm a. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's something heartwarming about. Oh, you're underwater and drowning. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, Did we miss anything? <laughs> I like that's it's the it's basically the Wild Kratts puzzle game. Yeah. It's pretty, it's really Where do you want to go? Uh, There's a star right here. up here. Okay, I. I think I've gotten all the stars below us. Okay, cool. Um, oh. Okay. That one. Um, I don't know how to let you in here. Oh, I see, I see it. Yeah, okay. There we go. All right. Okay. Let me know when you're through. All right. Ah. Okay, I will join you. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh pretty funny. Oh. oh. So the there's some sinking problems. I see you as a horse flying around right now. Oh really? Yes. Nice. So that's <laughs> weird. Um yeah, you're just a Floating. On my screen, it's it's a bird. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you'll need to go yeah. back up here. I'll let you back in. You're gonna need to. Uh, yeah, I think oh, I, I, I want to be we, flying horse, but yeah. We yeah. Uh, I see you all. Okay, now you're a human, so that's working. <laughs> all right, give me a second to get that. Hey, we did it! Oh. Yay! Oh, nice. How many Great how work. many stars can we get? Um, I have no idea. I there was a lot idea, of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the mini map could definitely use uh, star indicators. That would be a, a maybe a. Nice thing. Yeah, there... Oh, I think I got stuck. Yeah, I think you did. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was fun, though. It's, um... Did, yeah. Did anybody else get a virus warning on this game? Uh, I did not. Right, I did, but now. I'm using Windows Defender primarily with Casper. Oh, I, I... Yeah. But so I kind of turned it off. Jesse. I, I got a very specific yeah. alert that there was a Trojan script as part of this game, so. Yeah, I mean, that's, it. it's probably not the case, I would hope. But, I mean, uh, it, like, spelled out the name of the the Trojan script, so. Oh, well, yeah, but it, it might be a false positive. Um, maybe. Oh, maybe, yeah, it's. it's. Stay on the lever if you can. Okay. Um, do you remember? Do you can you can you try to run it again and note what the uh, name of the Trojan was? Because it could be one that is just like a false positive on some library. Kind of hard when I when I couldn't see what's going on. Yeah, I'll try again. With my with my teammate. I'm right here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, when I when I when I was. Oh uh, yeah, when we were far away from each other. Yeah, yeah. We were triggering different different. Uh, like switch. Okay. Oh. And and I don't know what switch do what. So when I. I I have no idea. Before I press a button. Yeah, because like through. the door is further away. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're back. Did you guys get all the stars in the underworld? I don't know. Yeah, there, there you go. Yeah. I think we were already down oh, here. Oh, oh, hmm. I think we were missing the stuff in the top left. Oh, okay. Uh, where? Oh, wait. Um, let me back through. Okay. And then I'll get that lever for you. Oh, I guess while we're finishing up, any questions for the team? Yay! Hey. Hard to say it Thank felt you. pretty straightforward, but yeah, I wish I can see. I wish I can know which switch do what, open switch door, and I wanna. Because I, I I need to cooperate with my teammate, but I can't see what they are seeing. Mm. That makes it a little bit hard. But I like it. So. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm a little biased towards games that, that function right off the bat. It's, uh, <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> That's true. Cool. All right. Thank you very much, team. And I think let's get ready for the next uh, the next world. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's see here. 44? Thanks. No need to 44? download yeah. anything for yeah. 44. It's a um, air console. Exactly. And so I guess uh, Team 44 is coming in? Yes. Yep. Uh, they will host the world. Yeah. OK. I watched people play this during the play test. <laughs> I guess, uh, team, if you want to explain what we're going to do, um, go ahead and let us know. And we need repair with Air Console. One minute. Hello. Yeah, our teammate will be hosting the world. So this is a. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. So this is a three player Air Console game. So um, this is a three-player air console game. Uh, can you share the connect code again? Or do you have all? Do you have three people? One, one, four, two, five, two, one. You wanna send it in the chat? Maybe. Yeah, they'll be. Oh, I see it. I see it. One, four, two, five. Okay, I connected. I think. That's me. I'm in. Yeah, I'm in too. Yay. Talk to humans, return stuff, teach 
So Brian's the legs, I'm the wand, and you're the head. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm the bottom. Yeah. Walk around with keys, keys, keys. Cool, got it. Not close enough to anyone to talk. Okay. And I, I don't know spells yet, so I'm just going to randomly cast spells at an opportune moment. Where's the, where's the instructor? Yeah, go, yeah, go yeah. close to that person. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Okay. I'm gonna need a spell. So they need a spell before I'm gonna do anything. I, I so to be clear, the the other people see a blurred out dialogue when that's happening. Okay. Yeah, I don't see. Uh. So, okay. What do I need to draw? You need to draw uh, round. That got a setting sun on the bottom, and if you can color it, color it light purple. Make a face on it, and then draw like bubbles above. And um, um, I have the only ab the ability to. Hmm. So I have a bunch of colors and dots in a nine in a three by three pattern. So I can draw like a square. Oh, but... okay. Okay, I had to tap on the spell. I, I didn't read the main screen instructions. I was staring. Gotcha. At the... Okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, if you can arrange the, you can arrange the bubbles, then... No, I can't. I can just draw lines. Oh. So I can draw patterns. From, draw it straight down in the middle. Okay. Like that? There we go. Ah. Nice. Whoa. So again, straight down in the middle. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, again? We are already taking an exam. <laughs> oh, I sh you should talk to this girl. Okay. Welcome to the trial of darkness. You must illuminate your path forward. Beware. One moment of carelessness may cause you to stub a toe. Here's a couple of spells to help you out. Okay, so if you make a, a full square, all the outside edges. Okay, I tried, it did not seem to work. Is there... It doesn't tell me where to start. If you just make a, a full square connecting all except the middle. Yep. That, make, that gives you... Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. And then if uh -huh. you make a diamond, a diamond gives you open sesame. Wait, hold on. Uh oh, uh oh. So yeah. A diamond is open sesame. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I tried a diamond. Let me try it again. So I, I cast the diamond there. Okay, and the diamond opens. So maybe you gotta just open doors. And then if you wanna change the background music, that's kinda complicated. You wanna bother? Um. You make a music note. So you'd be going three, two. Uh and straight down the middle, and over the left, up, and then back to the middle, kind of making a musical note. Ah, that, Ooh, that's Lower cool. letter, letter D, and then over the edge. Oh. Gotcha. That one doesn't seem to, wait, wait, maybe, let me try it one more time. Lower letter D, flush left, with the top, straight off to the side there. Yeah, that one doesn't down. seem to be working. All right, I'm gonna turn the lights back on. Nope. Brilliance is square. Okay, and then open sesame. Is a diamond. Yeah, yeah one that on one. Outside edges, connected. Oh, I see. I see. So I wasn't blocking it. Okay. Turn the lights back on. Oh. Okay, yeah, I think you just need to get up to the door in the middle. Okay. Or or tap on the sign, maybe. I don't know. Can you see me? I'm trying to turn the lights back on. Okay, let me try open sesame, see if it works now.
might need to walk up to the door. Okay. Possible. But I, I worry that one of the doors is wrong. We might need to figure out which door is which. Ah, sorry. It's, spellcasting is quite tricky. There we go. So we need to open all the doors? First. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to stop turning the lights on because they don't seem to do too much. Uh, try walking can, out of that sign and... Yeah, can, can we read it? the sign here? Yeah, I'm just about of gnome, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, there oh. is a sign, and the sign will give you a little map. The little map doesn't resolve well for me. Oh, interesting. Uh, does it work Where's now? <laughs> can you read it, Mike? I'm showing okay. my my zoom view. I can't. Okay, show I, I'm watching. Mm. Right, Yolo. Let's just go. Nailed it. <laughs> uh, try the other doors. I mean, we we have a fifty-fifty chance now. Yep. Hey, we got it. up to this pretty lady. Welcome to the Trial of Truth. Here's your spells. Good luck. Hope you don't die. Don't forget to pick <laughs> up a map at the signpost. Today. It'll be useful. Okay, so the map is probably useful later. Yeah. So you can do fire. Uh, you got to make a, a square on the bottom, but then the top is uh, angled out. So you're doing everything except number two, everything except the center top. So you're boxing the outside, then down and up again. Uh, not quite getting that. So uh, you're saying, uh, oh, oh, I see. I think I get it. I think I get it. Hold on. It's almost like a, like like a square, but the, instead of the top connected, you go down to the middle and back up. The top top edge is not connected. Oh, OK. I see. Mm, I don't quite get what you mean there. Uh, you can see the zoom screen. Sorry, you can see the zoom screen again. Uh, let me check. If you can't, they just start at the top. Oh, I see it. Okay, well that. Down across yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No, so that does feel a little cheaty. <laughs> just, just a <laughs> bit. <laughs> We're just okay. a gnome. And then yeah, slide. I thought you meant like a. Uh, yeah, Wait, I don't know what that. Like uh oh. Okay. Oh, we. You need to get closer. Fly. To oh, you gotta fly over. You gotta fly over the pad. <laughs> I see. So that's the that's the spell we were just casting, right? Uh, you you casted fire. Oh, that cast wouldn't help us. Yeah. Okay. Fly is like infinity. It's uh, down across to the top, down across to the other top, diagonally. So down diagonal, down diagonal. X down diagonal. Down diagonal. Uh oh oh I think I. See. Wait. Like X in the middle, two vertical edges outside the side. Oh, it's outside. like a ribbon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. It's an hourglass. Got it. Okay. Sideways. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's fly. And we got a sign again. Oh, no. Okay. What? Oh, you might want to check the map there. Uh, caution. Watch your step ahead. Two-thirds of a human for the weight. Repairing the floor is impossible. If only we had a way to get rid of the whole darn thing. Uh, you can you cast know? like a fire spell and then, you know, oh, burn, burn the, the... Woods up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. I'll uh, cast my handy fire spell. Yeah, you are a wizard, Harry. I am a wizard, Harry. All right. You do, you do have one more spell you can summon. I don't know what you summon by drawing what? the capital letter S. Uh, okay. I can make, um, make those. Is it a uh, coffin? Maybe we just fly? Maybe maybe we fly. Right. fly. What, what are you gonna do with the rock? Uh, no idea. Can you summon the rock? Uh, oh, 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 wait, huh. Are you summoning that? 
I don't know. I didn't do that. Um, but let me try... Uh, let's see here. What was the other one? The S. Let me try another S. Okay. That's... You can probably walk that way then, right? Oh. <laughs> nope. No. Oh, so you need to spawn those and then try to see if it's... Oh, there, there's an interesting map again. I don't know how to... We, we, we may want to move on just so we're not Here, falling too far behind. But, yeah. Oh, I see. I see. So there is a map. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, okay, let's try to finish this up and then we'll uh, move on. Um, That would be the, the fly symbol. Yep. And you just got to go straight north. Uh, you gotta go the other direction to the to the northeast. I think. Where am I going? Uh, you want to go? So so. Yeah yeah. Yeah yeah. So we're, this is the middle platform. I think. There's a bit of lag here. So. Oh, I see. It's like, so yeah, you want to um, you want to go directly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, northeast. Yeah yeah. Okay okay. One second. Yeah. It looks and like then you should be good. Uh, stay there. And then you want to just go, yep, go that way. Up. And then go up. And then we need fire now. Uh. Or summon. No, it's it's, it's burning. Okay. Not sure what summon was supposed to be used for there. Okay, how how are you good with time? Um, we're 20 minutes behind, but I, okay. I don't know, if, uh, <laughs> Dave, if you want. <laughs> I feel like I've got on. a pretty good idea of this game. Yeah. Um, interesting. Yeah. The, uh, Wait, we might call it here. Okay. Uh, um, are you planning on adding spectators view? I when I was watching it, I know the three of you are working on something, and but it's really well, hard. A, we need to figure out what. That's really an interesting hard. idea. Um, we were we were planning on um, like you can have the option to like join like as a spectator like while you wait in line. Um, but we, we, we you would just have the same view as you have right now. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be interesting to have a mode which basically showed the spell casting and the uh, the dialogue, like basically shows everything on screen, but only for the spectator. Point. Otherwise, it worked though. It was it was interesting puzzles. Yep. Uh, what was the what was the summon spell supposed to be used for? Uh, just for fun. Okay. No. It, did, it <laughs> seemed silly. Uh, did, did you want us to share the map with the webcam? Because map described verbally is difficult. Spells described verbally is possible. Uh, it was actually it? really hard to un like when you were trying to describe some of those spells. I could not yeah. draw them for the life of me. Um, yeah, so we gave each of the orbs like different colors, right? So mm. um, if it's too difficult, you could go like dark, go dark green, orange, purple, you know, like stuff like that too. Gotcha. I see. Um, otherwise, that, that worked. I, I think the only gotcha I saw with the uh, summon spell was that since it was placing stuff on the plane, but they didn't fall through the ground, I thought it, it looked like there were areas that were safe to walk on that weren't actually safe, which is interesting. Oh yeah, makes sense. So it might be it might be a easy way to confuse the uh, user. Otherwise, good work. And there's still, basically there's one more sequence of puzzles we uh, played out here. Mm-hmm. All right, cool, thank you very much, team. I think we're gonna move thank on. You. Thank you. Thank you. world. Thanks. So the, the next one is Team 45. Uh, I think we need two people, but if, uh, if Team 45 gets in here and gets ready, um, they can give us a sense of what we're going to be doing. There's There's two different programs for this one, right? Or is it just one now? Uh... Yeah, only have one. one. Oh, okay. I yeah. So there's only one. Okay. When you open the game, there will be two options to choose. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. 
Yeah, I think so there was yeah. like two apps when I was testing it last time. Okay. So, T45, you want to tell us what we're doing and how you want us to facilitate this? Yes. So I'll be sharing the screen actually, and I'll show a quick tutorial first. You have nowhere to flee now, ghost. Show yourself, and I will send you to reincarnation. spirits of this land. The guardian spirits of this land are willing to help me. I can communicate with them until the incense sticks burn out. Guardian spirits, please help me find this ghost. If you know which furniture the ghost is possessed, give me a sign and write a hint on this yellow paper. So basically, there's three parts in the game. Uh, the Taoist the priest, which is a seeker. The ghost is a hider. And then the guardian spirit, which is the audiences. The audiences will provide hints to the seeker to find a ghost. Um, I think two of you can be the hider and the seeker. Oh, by the way, can you let us uh, the other computer from Catherine then? Oh yes, I got in. No worries, we're good. Oh, okay, cool. So um, I guess what we could be a hiding weather secret. We decided yeah. I'm waiting for the host as a ghost. Oh, oh, insert the hider. Okay. So who's a secret? Do we have a volunteer? Sorry, I tried to join, but uh, I was as, as a hider, but it didn't seem to work. So let me no, try so again. There's as only a one. Actually, don't open the game yet. I have to start the room first. So um, if you are picked to be a hider or seeker, then I'll start the game. Then you can join. Can okay. you just all quit the game for now? Sure. Okay. Awesome. This will be received as an audience. The hider can join now. Okay, I will try to join as seeker. Oh, oh, uh, the okay, yeah, it's actually fine. The hider join as a hider again. Waiting for the host to start. Yep, waiting for host to start. Uh... Hmm. 
um, yeah, I, I'll I, just quit and start again. Sure. I, we should probably have somebody else oh. try it because I think I'm getting the connection issue with this game. Oh, it's us again. All righty. <laughs> yeah, why don't we get uh, different people? Yeah, that would be great. East Coast. Sorry, game. guys. Or West Coast connections. Or... <laughs> <laughs> Not playing nicely with certain games. Can I skip it? It was too big for my internet speed. Do we have a volunteer for Seeker? Uh, do you need me? Over here. Hmm? Do you uh, need me? Yes, sure. Okay, we, uh, guys, wait. A I... Hyper or Seeker? I think we need a Seeker. All right. okay. You want me a Seeker? Okay. Yeah. This is Mike. I'll go into Seeker. Okay. Good luck. You uh, log in as Seeker. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are logging as Seeker. But you should not be able to see the screen now. Can we have the higher in the game? Um, I'm sorry, who's the hider again? We logged in as a, a seeker over here. We can restart and go back and become a hider, if that's better. Okay, I think wait, everyone in the game should just log out for now. We have to see her now, so you're competing for the, uh, for the control. Maybe we'll be a hider. Hider! <laughs> okay, I've, I've opened. Uh, there's a hider, so you can join. We're lucky as a hider. Nice. Uh, what does it show on the hider screen? You want us to share the screen? Uh, it says waiting for the host to start. Yeah, that's what I was seeing earlier. Uh, there must be some connection to see. So, can we just all try again? Just uh, I'll quit the game for now. Uh, this is Mike. Do you want me to come in as something? Yeah, Mike, why don't you go in as the hider and we'll go in as the seeker. Okay. I'm clicking hider. Okay. Oh, the hider is in. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Uh, I got no mouse to move the window. Let's see. It says it's waiting for the host to start. It's still on our side. Uh, uh, yes, that's because the uh, hider hasn't possessed an item. So if you're going, you will actually see the hider. My screen is not, it's like off of my desktop and I have no mouse to move it. I, you, you, you probably want to try Alt F4 if you're stuck in the okay, no, no, no. It captures the mouse, so. Alt F4? Okay. That would exit it if it's if you're not able to. I, I exited it. Okay, uh, then we should all like just quit again because. Uh... Yeah. Okay, I'm going in as hider again. Okay. Oh, you know what? There's sandwiches. Why don't you just have a sandwich? Okay. Today? All right. Cool. All right, we're going in a seeker. Do I need to be able to see the Zoom chat window? No, you, you actually don't want to. Uh, oh, I thought it said hints were coming into Zoom chat. Oh, no. Okay. So the, oh. the, the hints polling mm -hmm. from the audience. The audience will give hints through Zoom chat, and then MinCon will input them into the game so you can see them in the UI. Okay. okay. So you can possess an item to hide, and then the secure can come in. We're still waiting for a host to start. I think the ghost is trying to hide right now. OK. Cool. All right. The hider is in this position. 
Catherine, do you want to pull the poll? Oh. oh, there is a sewing machine. Let's go to the sewing machine. Heard from it sounded like a sewing machine. Invict. Q. Q. Mm. Okay, I have one. There is a. Windows space machine and using air console. So I got on air consoles. I just don't know how to connect the two. Oops. Another any more any more answers from for the poll? I'm gonna wait for him to come in. Oh okay. waiting. Oh oh table hint table. There's a table. Are there any more tables? How do you know it's a table hint? Oh, it's a oh that's sorry. <laughs> Okay, second, 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 Oh, is that a table? I want to click the this way. It's not a video. Okay. Um, so, who wants to have another hint? By the way, the hider has changed the object he has possessed. How do I tell that? Am I successful? I'm, I'm not yeah. sure if I'm successful. Right. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> I give the wrong hands. Sorry. Oh, oh, there's a chair. <laughs> Get that chair. <laughs> oh, well. All right. Well, the chair is moving. Maybe, TV. Maybe another pole. Is it square? I thought it was square. Do you think this is square? Right. Okay, open. Square open. Okay. Square open. Let's see now. Got an open square. It's an aquarium. It's not a square either. Bot, one of the boxes is open. Okay. One minute left. Um, another poll? No, okay. I just see this. Nope, one of these are clickable. Oh, is this okay. one? Okay, we, we have a draw. Any more answer for the poll? Okay. I lost. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, we were. It, it... Because we didn't find them. I, I had a hard time, yeah, figuring out if I was successful or not. The the polls were an interesting problem because we were we were given a subset of things to give you clues to. So, it, we we were definitely picking the wrong things, unfortunately. But we we couldn't figure out quite what the right one was. I think so, they were in the fridge. They they were originally in the boombox, and they moved to the fridge. Um. So the way this actually works is one person's the hider, one person's the seeker, and then there's a, a sort of studio audience that's giving clues? That yes. Okay. Um, and on the day of, we would do the clues through Zoom polling, which is a lot more efficient. The Zoom polling is not compatible with Zoom live streaming for some reason. Um, so. Oh, weird. Yeah. Oh, cool. I would do the clues that would be way better. typing in. Yeah, I would add. Yeah, the clues were being typed in chat. So we have like a system of based on what object is in, which of the four like subsets of words to give in what order. Um, so yeah. So just from the voice of the, the person hiding, it, it was a really nice world to hide in. It felt really good in there. Uh, it felt interesting and mysterious. I was able to, to repossess things and I knew when I couldn't repossess things anymore, I was only confused when I couldn't make things continue to interact. At some point, I ran out of being able to keep making noise as distractors. So that's that's the only UI issue where I got confused when I couldn't do things for a couple of moments. 
Was There's an interesting it? problem where the... So what's the point of the distractions, then? So or the interactions? When you, when you possess an item, it makes a sound. So when you switch items, it will give hints to the seeker where you are. So you like to make distractions. I see. Uh, when they first enter, is there a sound for, as a clue for like the very first thing that they're hiding in? Yes. Yes. OK, yes. I see. And, and the hider was smart in this particular case because like as soon as they had an opportunity to, they hit the sewing machine and then Sabrina went over to the sewing machine and was like, oh. Yeah, I was, I was making noise first before I possessed. Yeah, that, so was that was fun. That was an interesting mechanic. How often are you able to switch? About every 10 seconds. Um, the cooldown for interact and the cooldown for changing position is, uh, is the same cooldown. So uh, like if, if the hider has figured out that the seeker knows where they are, then they've got to be smart about using their cooldown so that they can move. But they can only move three times. Right. There's a the max of three times. So as a seeker, I definitely wanted to, I wanted more information about what I, what the stuff, the interface was telling me about how to evaluate if I was doing the right thing or not. I'm just thinking about naive guests coming in and playing this and just making sure that they, they understand mm -hmm. how to do the seeker role and what they're, what they're waiting for. There's a video, right, that goes before this? Yeah, you, I think you missed the video. Yeah, I missed the video. So maybe that's why I, I struggled. Can you uh, can you possess an item that the the Taoists or, or that the monk accident or um, like tried to uh, evict earlier? I think not, right? No, that's, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you there is a little bit those. of a elimination going on. All right. Cool. All right. Thank you very much, team. I think we're going to move on to the next team, which is Scribble Mancers. Team 24. And this is Air Console. Air Console. When is a break, Dave? Um, so we're running. Where it stands, we're going to, I think, move forward. We, we, we ate through the break in terms of like time. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think it's fair if you want to like take a step away. Like it's sort of like a rolling break. <laughs> Okay. Uh, 23, is that right? 24, 24. All right, team, do you want to talk us through what uh, you want people to do? Sure. So uh, Lewis will be hosting the world, and he'll give you guys the game code. This is a two-player air console game where you draw on your phones to battle each other. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I hope you guys have fun. One, two, one, four. Cool. One, two, one, four. I'm waiting for a second player. I'm also waiting for a second player. Oh, we're uh, both waiting for a second player. Oh. Are we both first players in our world? Oh, wait. Uh, to join game, ask one of the other players to press plus on their phone. That's what mine says. Whoa. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oops. Oops. Too oops. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Joined, I think. Yeah, it's trying to sell me on Air Console Hero. Yeah. Nice. Um, that's... uh oh, good commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna connect again. Ronnie, you know, uh, hop in. Yep, I'll join. Is it the same code? Yeah, I think you just draw that, yeah, 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 but I think you just draw the symbol too. I'm failing at that very basic. Huh. Oh, there are too many players. Okay, cool. Oh, it, let me check. My, my, I think I think it still thinks I'm playing, which is weird. Sorry.
Um, we might want to restart it and then only two people uh, join because oh, cool. yeah. I think it's keeping whoever joins from the start. Interesting. Who are the two people who are playing? Me and Ronnie, I guess. All right. You guys uh, Ronnie, you guys are the two players, so if you wanna log in, everyone else is gonna spectate. Uh same code as before, or should I wait for that's a new code? No, that's a new code. One two one oh nine four. Oh, okay. Cool. Ah, yeah. How do I select a character? Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, right here. Okay. Wait, how do you do that? Did we do that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did not see all. Do I need to mimic your spells, or? I think so. Okay, I'm gonna go with easy one. Oh. Okay. I think I'm waiting on you. Bro, really? I don't know. It's yeah. just waiting to act. Oh, you can cast at the three spells. I see. Oh, okay. Okay. The second one is really confusing. I don't know what I did right there. <laughs> to be honest. Oh, you did it. I have no idea. I just did the same. <laughs> <laughs> you have to mimic them in, in the same order that he drew them. Uh, okay. Sorry about that. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, now it's my turn. Okay, got it. Yeah, it's your turn. The pattern is quite sensitive, so it's quite hard to draw, I think. But it is interesting. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. I show so me, uh, Ronnie. I definitely passed the dot limit. Okay. Okay. First one is easy peasy. Second, second one is really one. hard. Yeah, it's really hard. I'm shaking. Yay. Okay. Um oh there is a dot limit I just noticed. Yeah. Because I tried to do like a okay. super complicated one and, mm -hmm. and that's like did not translate. That looks weird. Interesting. Oh, oh, mine are smaller. <laughs> Why are you getting smaller? Because <laughs> I, I can It was hard for me to understand how many. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How many? <laughs> Shape is correct, but it's just smaller. <laughs> Oh, my turn. Okay. Yep. Hmm. Okay, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, okay. Um... Oh, if it's correct, it doesn't show you the pattern. 
I'm intrigued. Okay. I don't know what I did there. <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. And my thing didn't change. My screen didn't change to show me the dot thingy. Oh, okay. There's a bug right there. So, uh, I'll die. I guess I'll just die. <laughs> oh my god, that's so sad. <laughs> Does it yeah. matter? Um, is the starting point and the end point matter in this game? So yes, the position does matter. So okay. yeah, you have to look carefully. Hmm. Cool. GG, Ronnie. <laughs> GG, Brian. Uh, position matters, but starting and end point doesn't matter. You can start from either side. Oh, oh, starting at end point doesn't matter. Cool. Oh, cool. Because there was a color indication where the starting point is and the ending point is, so just was wondering. Cool. Are there any questions for the team before we move on? All right. Good. Thank you, team. Then we're gonna move Thank on you. to the, the next world. Twelve. We've team twelve. And this one is, uh, I think, for a single player using the webcam. Uh, oh, okay. Is Team Twelve? You want to talk through the world a little bit and tell us what we're going to do? Uh, yeah. All right. Well, you're going to be playing like a paper crane and use your head to uh move, like control the flying, so the webcam will track your face, and um, you'll need to use your voice, also. <laughs> but um, it, it won't actually be your microphone. Yeah. And uh, story will kind of be part of the game. But yeah, that's like uh, how it works. I want you to feel free. Uh, what do you mean by it won't actually use the microphone? It, it's like looking for the mouth being open? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> right. uh, Michael, you want to you wanna run this? Yeah, I can. I got it working, so I can do that. Uh, I think and if you can share your screen when you do it, that'd be good to, so we can yep. sort of watch yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the least I can do. Oh, it starts off, yeah. OK, is that working for everyone? Yep. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, do you, uh, I think I shared computer audio, too, so you should hear that also? Yep. 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 Good. All right. Okay, I will hit play and then start. And I have not played this at all, so... I, Sorry, I just jumped in. So should I play this naively, or should I hear... Should I, are there any instructions beyond the ones that you just told us, or...? Um, I, I'll give you a heads up that the controls are a little... Like, it's a little finicky. Um, there's gonna be a UI where it's like a white circle, and that's to help you see, like, where your head is. Okay. Um, that's all. Yeah. All right. And I'll hit play. Uh, 
Okay. Let's start over. There we go. So oh. are you controlling with your face or Yeah, no? I Yeah, I'm controlling. I think I'm controlling with my moving my head around the webcam. That oh, seems yeah. to be what's working. You turn your camera on, Mike. Oh, yeah. I Hold on, let me do that then. <laughs> it's <laughs> I think you do in the Apple the fight. Oh yeah, that might be a problem. Oh. Uh what you Yeah, I Uh... <laughs> I see. I think I'm getting the hang of it. If you're watching the webcam, I'd just be moving my head around the screen sort of awkwardly. So it's like a joystick, basically. Yeah. Got it. Uh... So in order to get the circle up, I sort of need to stand up a little. Uh, it's actually a pretty narrow interaction range, which is not a bad thing. Uh, let's loop back around. Oh. Okay, maybe we'll go down. Uh. I can't go down. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. Close enough, close enough. No! Alright, I just skipped a bunch of the lights. Uh... Oh no. Don't run into the wall. Uh... Oh no. <laughs> All right, cool. Nice. And I think it's fair to point out that this is um, a single player experience that might be best suited for the website, um, yeah. as opposed to a synchronous uh, uh, virtual space. Oh yeah, we, we were designing the like gaming for the website. All right, cool. Yeah, sorry I didn't turn on my webcam, um, but yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm wondering if yeah that that one might be tough to do because the game's probably taking taking control of the webcam stuff. So unless yeah. you have that represented somewhere in the app, you could maybe then do a screen share at that point. Um, yeah, I had to. I I have a bunch of different cameras detected, so I had to turn disconnect pretty much mm. all of them to get this to run. So I didn't want, I, I turned off the webcam as part of getting it to run testing, but I'd never tested it with it back on and running. So. Gotcha. Yeah. We had yeah to... So I think this, this would be, if we sort of put this in festival, it would probably be, you know, showcase on the website as opposed to design for a zoom experience. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Any more questions for the team? Good. I All right. Thank you, team. I think we'll move on to the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Next is team 15. And this this is also a, uh, a webcam and microphone and yep. would be in a similar state of probably 
more for website rather than synchronous uh, virtual. I think I played this one. Um. Uh, if this is for website, do you, do the do the guests still need to download them on their machine, or they just play it on the website? I, it would be download and run locally. Okay. If you give me a minute, I am downloading it. If we need someone to play it, is Among the Clouds multiplayer? No, it's a it single, player. Gotcha. single player. And uh, it's best to play on a PC that has decent hardware. It kind of, like, yeah. Yeah. Decent I have a hardware. I have a pretty beefy machine. So I oh, and you also need a, need a mic and a webcam to play the game. And before you start again, you should turn off the video on Zoom. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm. I have one gigabyte downloaded, so I'm. I'm moving pretty quickly. So. Yeah, this is. This is it's a pretty large download, so that might be better for off. Like yeah, as Dave was saying, yeah. the website. <laughs> Yeah, since this is not naive guess run, I'll just give you a hint how to play it. You need to basically stretch your arms to guide your character to so you fly around the world and use your voice to save your friends. Basically, it's a linear experience. So uh, space to, for the camera to see the arms is good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I so can try I, to share if yeah that saves time. Oh <coughs> uh, yeah, you go for it first, Brian. Then. Cool. All right. Sound or no? We can hear. Can hear it. <laughs> I don't know how to navigate this. I'm turning my body around. Wait. Okay. Just, just fly, Brian. It's fine. You got this. It's, this is my first time flying around, so. I'm not that good of a singer.
you fly down? Or is it just actively happening? I, I'm not sure. I'm trying. But um, I think it's kind of working when I leave towards the camera. Um, there's a bit of a thing to do that. Go up and down by simply uh, crouching or standing up. It kind of detects your uh, that by detecting your face. So whenever your face is moving downwards, okay. you can lean yeah. forward or backwards. Okay. Uh... okay. I'm leaning. I lost my control again. Brian, have you been drinking? Is, is that what's going on here? Oh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> that explains it. <laughs> um, maybe I need more space. I need to... Like... Um, do I have to... Okay. Whew. Can you go for the door? Yeah. Oh, I'm trying. See if you go can make it. Go the light. <laughs> you see how that character is doing? 
I'm doing the exactly the same <laughs> position posture. I'm just That's uh, that can't be good for your back. I oh, yeah, it, my body's <laughs> aching. I'm trying to go down. I'm crouching. I'm standing up. <laughs> Right, we, may, we may we may cut this short. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think that's my bet. Whew. So, I guess any uh, questions for the team? I have some comments. <laughs> I think mm -hmm. I think you should make it a little easier to fly up and down, or just fly on a on a in a on a surface. It's not. It's definitely hard for Brian to to fly to the destination he wants. And yeah. I will show you what I exactly did. I was doing like this, and then try to go with this, and then maybe I need more space. Like I need to go back yeah. a little bit. I wasn't sure about that. Yeah. So I think what happened there is that the way we get, the way we tell whether you're moving up and down is we get your starting position of your face. So probably mm. when you moved back, it like your face like moved up on the screen, and so it was oh, okay. like, constantly moving you up. Yeah. So oh, we'll, we'll we'll work on that. Let's see if we can oh, recalibrate. Sorry, I'm sweating right now. <laughs> <laughs> cool. bad, All right. Well, thank you, team, and thank you, Brian. Um, we're yeah, gonna move thanks. on to the next world. Um, I can. Team Oh, sorry, Dave. Go for it. I was gonna say with Team Thirty One. Thank you. All right. And it's two players, right? I can I can share because I went ahead and downloaded it because it's a two gig download. So, cool. but yeah, I just downloaded it, but we'll see. All right, and if uh, the team wants to sort of uh, introduce the world and let us know what we're getting into. Wizard, Noah? Oh, uh, yes, we need the two players and we play by the computers, a mouse and the keyboard. And one player, yeah, yes, is that So one? I created a room. It, it said couldn't find another player, so it created a room. Uh oh, I'm running it twice. Hold on. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Should I share my screen? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Yeah, I'm also in the no room found, creating new room. I'm, I'm being chatted to about Alice. Are there, uh, are there other people playing? I wonder if it's just created one instance and so it's two you It's really hard to tell. Someone else are playing. I like Seems a little stuck on my end, so I might restart. I'm going through. I just got through. Welcome to the world in the mirror. Um, I see a table. Yes, and maybe have to. Okay, so maybe have to reopen. I think to play have to reopen the game again. Yes. Oh wait, it says I'm joining room. Hold on, I'll share. So I have a I have a game running. It's not dark. There is no thunder in my life anymore. Help me, please. I'm I'm sharing my screen, so yeah, I just got the Alice. Yeah, I'm I'm being told to punch and that doesn't seem to be doing anything. I think I'm broken. I don't know if you ever noticed the yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll wait and see if he joins my room, but I'm, I'm not sure if he is in my room. I 
fulfill your desire. It grows and expands like a rose. Like me, that is in your room. Because uh, the way it's set up, you like force it to see. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, we'll see. Okay, cool. Okay, so you also say punch. So we both. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can break bears and reflect uh, time back. Alright, yeah, this shouldn't. Because yeah, yeah. I, th I think we're both we're both punching ghosts or something. We're uh, we're both punchy people. Can you both start? Right. Because this is gonna be like. I'm, okay. I'm probably I've had issues with network connection for other games, so we should try somebody else. Oh, oh it just worked. Just, oh yeah, I just punched something. Wait. Begin the color and the night of my life. Um, so what is the, am I, so I can move around now. Bas I guess should, I, is, is the second player not active and will that stop me from continuing? Yeah, there should be a second player that's like, um, that should be able to see where the mirror is and be telling you. But it seems like both you and Zach are in this view. I, I ended up exiting and then I tried oh. to join again and it was going through the cutscene again, so I exited. Okay. Uh, and then the second time I went back in, it said it was creating a new room again, so oh, I don't think Lord. I can join the game. Um, should we both restart then? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's let's try getting. Uh, I guess Steph, can you run one side, and uh, Michael, can you run the other side? Let's try two Pittsburgh base. Uh, yeah, I think that's yeah, smart. Yeah. All right, that's I, I can in case it's something weird with. Um, I also have the build downloaded on my end, so. Okay, Karen, go ahead. And you can go. Yeah. yeah, I don't have it downloaded. Sorry. All right, uh, I'm gonna start up now. Then. Okay, I just started. I'll share screen. All right, so it's a good sign. I think I immediately jumped in. And it, this is not skippable, right? It is not. Okay. Help me, please. Oh no, I'm writing. Okay, that's good. Okay, okay. I'm the punching. Okay, that's good. Oh, okay, cool. So I can write. Hooray! Hooray! So if I do this, are you seeing this then? Um, I'm not supposed to, but you should. There should be like a. Um, I, I will spoil it. <laughs> okay, I. There's a glowy thing. I'm on now is I can talk to myself. Wait, am I supposed to be able to move? I can move here. Um, um Do you see if I don't think you can move yet. You can look around and you can punch, right? Okay, yeah. I've been punching. Yeah. Do you see 
a mirror if you, on the right desk? Uh, no, I think you have to tell me where that is. Okay, I guess I don't. Can you sure. punch there? Uh, where on the right? Is it on like a window or is it? Uh, oh, are you moving around already? No, I'm not. Um, okay, yeah. So, so you have the I am Alice's inner self. Yeah, I, I says I see I'm Alice. I can talk to myself. Only I can break mirrors, reflecting yep. my false self, but I cannot see them. Yep. So okay, yeah. So turn to the right, and there should be there's there's a mirror floating there. So if you just punch. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Begin the corner and the night of my life. Okay, now I have to. Now I can move. Okay, so I think at this point we're not supposed to talk, and I'm supposed to write on the blackboard. Okay, that is correct. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. You can delete stuff. <laughs> uh, Mike, I think, Michael, I think you can delete stuff on the blackboard. Oh, okay, yeah, I can hit backspace. There All right. Uh -huh. There we go. See, middle. Middle window. Um, on bottom left. Karen, do you also want to share your screen? Because you're seeing different things from... Oh yeah. Um, I don't know if I can share screen at the same time, but I could take over the screen share if um. Bottom right. Bottom yeah, probably left. just take over the screen share. Yeah, probably okay. just. Oh. Okay. Oh, I can stop sharing. I'll hey, start sharing. Let's break the window. <laughs> this is not. Uh, you want to share audio though? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think my audio just went away. I'm not sure why. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> not great. I Can think you when you when you share your screen, there is a share your computer audio box. If you check. Yeah. That. I just tried that, and then I just uh, shared it, but I'm not hearing anything. Oh dear. Um. Uh, try clicking back on the window with the game. Uh, click. I'm just. We don't it. see anything now. Oh, you don't. Um, let me let me pause my share and uh, do it again. Okay, I'm still not hearing anything, but um, let's see if we can at least like see. Can, can you see what I'm sharing? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you hear anything on your end, Karen? Is it that oh, you might be muted? I. You might be hearing things from Zoom. Previously. Okay, let me see if it's the um go to the Xbox thing. Oh there we go. Oh okay, because because okay. Because it was uh because Mike was sharing sound, I muted this one, but mm. I'm hearing stuff now. Um can you hear all yeah, here? Yes. Okay, perfect. Um all right. All right, Michael, tell me what to do. Drink faster, Alice. Your bottle has a low sack.
That's it. Um, All right. Good work. Is any quick questions for the team before we move on? Uh, can can multiple instances of this game be run? Like, what happens if there's like two, four people trying to play this game? Yeah. So the way I set it up, there, there's only one room. We can only create one room right now. The, this was just because like. For BBW, we just wanted yeah. to force them into the same room. But yeah, we, we can open it up so multiple instances can be run. Right, cool. yeah, I think you need to do that. You definitely need to do that. So cool. All right. Thank you, team. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Um, I think I posted a link for the next world in the chat a while ago. Um the one person world that uses webcam. Uh I, is this a peekaboo? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, team. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, I can also run this if no one else wants to. If you've got it working, go ahead and uh, get it going. Oh, uh, I have the web. I can see myself, so I guess that's a start. Yeah, you'll need your uh, video off on Zoom, which it looks like you do. So. This is, yeah, this is one that would be more for a website download. Uh, Asia, Asia. All right. Was there anything I should know before I jump in? Um, it uses, uh, I'll tell you, I mean, I, I wouldn't be totally naive. Um, you cover your eyes and track the world. Um, that's basically all you can do. There's no problem. Okay, do, do, does, so is it using full upper body or just the, just the face? Just hands and face in terms of All right. And it'll use your mic. So you may want to mute yourself. Are you sharing audio? I am sharing audio. Yeah, so you may want to uh, just like mute yourself in the Zoom. I'm not sure if you're... I, it, uh, it worked with the previous game, so maybe I'll try this. Just because. Try it. Try it. it, you know, it this is your voice, and it will feed it back. So, all right. You worry too much. She'll scare any of them just fine. What if she's seen? Let me check one last time, and then we leave. Promise. Ugh. All right. Baby. Baby. Try resharing your screen. It's not showing the whole thing. Boo! Oh. I, I was assuming that was something weird, like maybe the, it was hiding the, the two sides. Oh, is that working now? Yes. Yep, it's good. Do it again. Good. Spooky. And then... Boo! You also have to say, say boo. boo. Go on. Boo! Oh, I, oh I'm supposed to say, say boo. boo. I told boo. you. After all, she is our girl. She'll be the most scary one day. Humans can be tough, so you better be louder when they are close enough. Like this!
Louder! Shout like a human! Boo! 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 Do it again. Boo! 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 Like this! Like this! Like this! Like this. That's better! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That was good. Should I mute myself? Yeah, I'm gonna zoom, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Nice work. Awesome. I guess any questions for the team? This would be more of a uh, website, uh, asynchronous world. And also, once I got it, it's a little fun. I, it's definitely the timing felt a little tight, but overall, 
I and I wish he moved just a little faster, like ten percent faster. You were faster, or the character that you were chasing was faster. Oh, uh, you were faster, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you accelerate the longer you stay uh, kind of like hidden mode. There are like a lot of strategies to it, but yeah, noted. Okay, we can do yep, that. Cool. All right. Thank you very much, team. We're going to move on to the next world, the last one before a break. Thanks Thank so you. Much. And this one, the, oh. this one is, I believe, Cyberpunk Lobster. Classic. It's Game three. Gordon Mouse. Is this multiplayer also? Just one. Yeah, just just one one player. So I guess team, you want to talk us through uh, the world a little bit? Yeah. So um, our game is a single player point and click. Um, the game should walk you through the instructions, um, but just download the executable and launch it. I've got it here. I wanna. All right, go for it, Zach. All right. Please take my 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 Okay. <laughs> And oh, I see. Uh, where am I going to? Oh, I guess that guy is. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Sorry, I get it now. Um what? Hey, what? Um something's not working here. Because that is what you're supposed to take my take my Uh oh. Hmm. Maybe I clicked too much when I switched view. Yeah, maybe. I think you clicked the pot after you switched views, and it's it messed with the, the oh, ordering of, of the... <laughs> yeah, I never... Uh, we never tested that, so... <laughs> we'll try again. And... I love the chef walking through that first. Yeah, that that's. Are you using nav mesh? Yeah. Yeah, it'll sometimes come up with weird routes. Okay. Okay. 
Ini kan sebenarnya pistol. Ini kan sebenarnya pistol. Ini kan sebenarnya pistol. Ini kan sebenarnya pistol. Ini kan Okay. Drop the lobster. Pressing A. Clicking on the thing. That's that's weird. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's not working. Oh darn. That's a shame. Um, if we want, we can see if somebody else can try it. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it's just something with my computer. John said he had the same problem, so... Oh, dear. I... I don't know why that happened. That has Excuse never that. happened before. Uh, I love the uh, lobster animation. Maybe we can play the uh, video for... Yeah, video? yeah. Because yeah. I feel like that's a very simple bug fix, but I just... Sure. I've never seen that before. <laughs> All right, let's show the video. Roll the clip. Yeah, sorry about that. That's no, okay. Karen, you gonna run the video? Uh, yeah, hold on. Just give me, give me a second. Um, trying to see how I. Can... Go on, I can. I have it ready. Okay, go, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can like skip past it. I wonder if the nav mesh got corrupted or something. Yeah, it might be when we built it into the standalone. Yeah. Oh no.
Oh yeah, it kind of just sprint past this guy. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I think what might have happened is that when we packaged into the standalone, the nav mesh might have got corrupted. It, so it lines guess, up with yeah. the, the chef guy walking through everything. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen that before either. So. Yeah. All yeah, right. If that's, if that's broken, it's all going to break. Yeah. Thank you, team. I guess any questions for the team before we uh, actually we're going to move to a break? What's the last room? Was there anything to it in terms of distractions or was it just you were one meant to run past the uh waiter yeah so the last waiter actually doesn't like try to pick you up but what's meant to happen is that like when when you yell retreat you're supposed to tell the lobster to like go hide behind the trash can and i mean if you okay. don't right now there's no punishment but but that's okay. what's intended to happen cool all right Thank you very much, team. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. And uh, members of jury, we're going to take a lunch break um, for those of you who are on East Coast time. Uh, I'm going to take a, a, a break. Um, if you feel free to like hang out in the Zoom room if you want. If you're going to stay on, feel free to like sign off. Um, but we're going to resume uh, in about a little over half an hour. So I've got the the break. To resume at 1.20, and we'll do some more worlds after that. Cool. Uh, and if you uh, fill out evaluation forms, if you haven't done that yet, and we'll see everyone uh, or those who are joining us for the afternoon uh, at 1.20 uh, East Coast time. And let me get this up. Let me share my screen. Cool. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you. See you guys in a bit. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Bye bye. Bye, Sally. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> bye. Bye. Thank you for coming.
<clears throat> right, about ready to get started here. Hey, Gibran, welcome. Hey, Dave. You ready for some jury action? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm wearing a familiar t-shirt. Ooh, nice. <laughs> surreal being on the other side of it. It's a good place to be. Uh, we're going to get things going in a few minutes. The uh, let me copy this link. This is the the links for everyone to get access to valuation form, all that stuff. One thing to note is the uh, there's a slide presentation there that has details on the BBW worlds that can be helpful to go through. It's uh, it's also in order that we're presenting, and it has um, has like the theming plan for the worlds and like some details of how it might run. All that fun stuff. Nice. It's cool how you guys have found like a, a format, you know. To, to try and run this all online as well as the festival online. It's been an adventure this semester. Yeah. A lot of <clears throat> a lot of Zoom. Yeah. I think uh, as we're watching, students are the the curve to get worlds to run and like get guests in is is rather steep. Mm -hmm. um, and it's gonna be something we talk with students in the next few, uh, between now and festival is like how to make these worlds, how to bring guests in and things like that. Um, so this afternoon, we're gonna see mostly worlds. So mostly worlds that uh, were in earlier rounds. So they're a little less focused on um, like audience and like multiplayer. Mm. But let me see, we've got some. Um, let's see. There's, and we're gonna have we have we have some that are you know uh, two player, um, all that stuff, but if you you know being familiar with BBW, you can probably get a sense of what round these things may have been built for. <laughs> yeah. Lightning round, freedom round. If you if you want, you can do the math too. Yeah. yeah. The, the number of the world is a good indicator of which round it was built for. <laughs> hey, River, welcome to jury. Hello. Hi. Okay. Did you get the, uh, um, the links? Great. Yes. Okay. Have it. All right. And I said, we're about to start up again here. One thing we've been checking is so in the, the submissions, the, the, the slide presentation, the, the permissions on all the theming plans have not been set so everyone can view them. So if you, I guess if people find stuff that's not letting them in and not getting access to stuff, let us know. We'll we'll pass it on to the students. But with that, I think we can give it a, a few minutes. But next, we're going to sort of be doing Team Twenty One. Um, so I think some of this is uh, downloading the worlds. Uh, so. Let them eat cake, I think. Yeah. It's air, I guess it's air console to guess. So um, no need to download anything. But having the air console app will be will be helpful. All right. Well, how are people feeling? We are uh, ready to get this going? All right. 
And let me, should we get the, uh, let the team in? Get the uh, recording going. All right, so let's get team 21 in here. Right. Welcome, Team Twenty One. Do you guys want to talk a little bit about what, uh, what we're going to be playing? Yes, and we need to pair with Air Console, and then the code I have passed on the chat. Yeah, so it's just basically a two player game and uh, I am in is the left leg. Okay. Yeah. Cool. to join in as well. That's all we need right now just to start it. What's the code? Uh, I'll pass on the chat. So yeah, please use. Okay. Please, okay. I'll pass it in. Yeah, chat. Yeah, cool. Going yeah, it's in chat. One. Yeah. So one four two four six nine. That's the code yeah. that people want to join. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see controls, but not anything yet. And maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. No. It's supposed to be until someone else joins in. Okay. All right, cool. We got Sabrina. Okay. Cool. So okay. it's just small. Yeah. So if everything is working right, you should see like a, uh, like a controller pad with a jump button on the yeah. right. Great. And we were going so good. We were rushing. Okay, there we go. Ooh, I like the candy. I'm gonna walk through it. Yeah, I gotta yeah, jump. Yeah. Jump. jump. We did so well, we crashed the game. <laughs> the crash was just chugging lag. 
Those are all the jumps I pressed a few seconds ago. Then you can jump on the right. What is going on here? <laughs> I'm just gonna turn my controller upside down. I just got here, but it sure looks like BBW. Yeah, I mean, this this really captures the spirit. Oh no! no. <laughs> this voice filter is fantastic. Is somebody else spamming uh, the buttons? Because, or is that just me? Uh, so basically, there should supposedly you control the right or the left leg, and someone else controls the right or left leg. And now it's like reverse Wonderland. So whatever was right is now left, and whatever oh. was forward is now backward. Yeah. That works. So, uh, and. It's preferable if there's a bit of a, like a discussion back and forth, like you guys decide where to go. Oh, wait, wait. How do we know things were back? Oh, oh, okay, that works. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, I never would have known it was back. Stop, stop, stop. It's You guys are almost there. Almost, Nice. The the shader on the the glazed donuts is pretty excellent. Well done. Like this little rough patch. Oh. No, 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 Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah. Just, just forward. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
You just gotta warn him, guys. We want it! We got a donut at the end, right? Is that a giant bell? Oh no! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 you can't take in this oh, goodness. This one suffers a little bit from uh, playing over Zoom. the hole in the middle, from the hole in the middle, so you can just walk through. Disturbing and amazing, all in one. It was fun. New record. <laughs> uh, that voice filter is is great. Brandon's <laughs> laptop has the problem. Uh, I guess any questions for the team? And the, the only thing I, I really was thrown on was the reverse play. Did you signal it strongly enough that the, everything was reversed? Because I was pounding forward, going nowhere, not realizing I had to pound backward because I went oh. into reverse mode. Uh, maybe oh. after I pound the wrong key a few times, you tell me again, hey, stupid, it's reverse mode because I missed it. <laughs> okay. yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, yeah, it might, it might have suffered through Zoom. Like there was a whole like center mode saying like this is reverse Wonderland and there would have been audio feedback like the music plays in reverse now uh but yeah no that's something to consider yeah. uh, i have a yeah, question maybe add a, uh, yeah hey no go ahead please yeah no, that's my question. Yeah, I was thinking maybe add a UI on the top right, so we, we can use a UI to tell the guests that we are remote. Uh, no, no, we, we are reverse control. Yeah. Yeah. Clever. Cool. Nice. Cool. Uh, yeah, the question was just regarding um, the Air Console app. Um, it's uh, just a slight barrier uh, to entry for the, the, the user to enter the experience. How are you thinking about managing? Bear to entry for basically the smartphone if they don't have a smartphone. Yeah, like if they turn up and then they need to like figure out, oh, I need to download this app and. Uh, oh, what so what's there? what's nice is basically the way that the way that you enter is that we would have a room with with instructions before they download the game that they would have to open up, and in that it's in that in that they would say like, hey, this would need console, which means you would need your smartphone to use this game. Please go to this location to please go to the Zoom with the Air Council already downloaded. So basically they, they don't have to download this because it's gonna be hosted via Zoom mm. and we could have like a little chit chat there. Okay. Don't, don't forget that Zoom chat isn't static. Ah, uh, yeah. Join code prominently so that you don't have to keep 
hyped me and for people who are doing it. That's probably true for everybody, for, for most of the games in the airport. Uh, I'm going to say I agree with that, even though I do understand. But sure. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to nod and say yes. <laughs> Sorry, Sabrina. I think there's the, an, a good idea to have the, the connect code in chat, but I think ha making the connect code clear is, is a, a yeah, thing. Yeah. All, all air console worlds to, to make. Cool. Oh, all right. Cool. That's good for the team. Uh, thank you. And let's get to the next uh, world. All right. Thank you. Thank you. The next world is Cheese Isle uh, and is made by Team One. Not necessarily the first world made in BVW, but around one world. Uh, so I guess if as Team One gets in here, if you guys want to explain uh, your world and, and talk us through what you want us to do. Yeah, this is a air console game with four guests. And um, Steph, do you want to host or do you want us to host? Um, wait, are we on the wrong? Wait, this is team one. Yeah, this is oh, team, team one. one. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, so, sorry. Uh, I guess, like, uh, yeah, so, so it's a single player. Sorry. <laughs> um. Karen put the link to the download in there. Um, so it'll just be single player. Um, whoever wants to share screen can, I think. And for jury members, this would be a world, I think, more oriented around, I guess you guys are team one, you're, you're presenting this more for the virtual space, like synchronous over Zoom, or is this more for asynchronous download and play? Um, for the semi plan, we designed for the virtual space, but maybe it's better for the website because it's single player. Okay. I think I, either I've got it downloaded yeah. if you want me to share. Okay, Zach. Okay. Oh, a perfect piece of cheese for my dinner. <laughs> oh no, it's Captain Cat. My best friend! Molly, help me get a chase without being fun! Okay, so... Stop Captain Cat, use Wasty. get it but we'll we'll see what happens oh my gosh <laughs> this cat's pretty great oh nice whiskers Great. <laughs> uh oh, I think I immediately lost. Yep, yep, that's all right. Let's try that again. I get what I need to do, but I see. 
This is a tricky one. I'm kind of terrible at it. A perfect piece of cheese for my dinner. So I great character models. Yes. Nice. So I ate the cheese that I was playing on. How bizarre! All right. Cool. Any questions for the team? Oh, pretty right. clear. Thank you very much, team. Thank you. I think we can move to next team, team nine. This is another keyboard and mouse world, I believe. All right, Team Nine, you want to tell us uh, what we're about to play and what you want from us? Hi. Uh, it's just a single player keyboard and mouse uh, game. So we just need one of the jury to, to open the standalone EXE and start playing and miss it. Cool. And uh, I mean, you guys have on the, the info sheet that this is, you're designing this for um, sort of synchronous play in the festival. Um, or are you thinking either website or? Oh, we're thinking just playing the festival. All right. right. Does someone have it downloaded and want to uh, share a screen and play? I have it downloaded, but um, why don't we have somebody else do a, try it out? I can, uh, how do I share a window that's going to immediately load? Oh, we just share the whole desktop usually. Okay. All right. Should we be hearing anything, team? Yes. Not for sure. Maybe, maybe I maybe I didn't. Let me make sure I got the buttons checked. Thanks, Mike. Yep. Thank you.
I, I'd like to have that stood on. Do I get to control this other person? Got the mouse in. Well, that means you need to hold the mouse. Okay, so I click the right mouse to do something. And I want us both to walk there. Come on, walk with me. Uh, you actually need to hold the mouse to you hold her hand to walk with you. Hold your left click. Okay. I want one of us to stand here. Oh, sorry. You gotta stand on it. I don't need her anymore. I'm in solo. Uh oh, I got I got like uh, locked on the soft locked on the third level. I guess I need her to keep coming with me. How can I bring her with me? Uh, you can try to push the box, the box next to the switch to hold uh, the uh, Yeah. Like hold your left hand, left click and right click. I'm not fitting off here. I didn't hear your audio clue. <laughs> oh, where'd you go? Is she inside? I killed her. Seems like a bug that she's in the door and then she's in the wall. <laughs> well, I'm not the best player, so maybe, maybe I, I've I've seen it. There's actually lots of interesting things here, and there's lots of interesting mechanics to discover. So it's surprising when I discover it when I'm stuck. I'm calling out to you for audio help because it's just a graphic. I knew I had to do something magical with the mouse. I really thought that first puzzle was I had to cooperate with the other person. I never would have thought about moving things in the environment, but I didn't try either. 
with more time, I might have experimented and played around more. Should we show the rest of the world through video just to sort of get a chance to see it? Yeah, I can show it on my end. Cool. Yeah, I just finished playing through it. It's it's pretty neat. You can probably skip ahead a little bit. Oh yeah.
Awesome. Thanks, team. Any All quick right. questions? I was showing the video, Karen. That well, game's that like a love letter to Eco. <laughs> Very nice. All right, I think let's move on to the next team, which is oh, VR. Yeah. Is that correct? We've got, yep. I believe it's a story about foot binding. Team 32. Jesse, you gonna be able to run this one? I think so. Let me uh, see if I can successfully screen share with you. I don't, we'll, so we'll see if that works. Okay. For some reason, my my overprotective virus system doesn't really care about this one. I don't know why. Let me get the screen sharing going on. Um, you guys can see that, okay? Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. Yep. Oh, uh oh. I'm getting, I'm getting warnings about a pending hardware issue. I hope I'm just gonna can ignore that. It's probably fine. Uh, uh, maybe we'll find out. All right, I'm walking along. Hopscotch flowers are blooming. I've got some wide feet down there. I don't know if you guys are getting my audio or not. Mm. No, no. We can hear your voice, but we... No, uh, without my audio, yeah. Let me just double check if I can, if I need to check a box on the screen share, sorry. Uh, yeah, I didn't do share computer sound. We, we hear it now. You hear it now? Hang on, I did it wrong though. Sorry. Oh, share computer sound. Pick the right window, please. There we go. All right. Hopefully, that's the best of both worlds. Look at that again. Shadow. Taking big steps. Okay. I'm um, not really sure where I'm going. Oh, here something's coming to me. Nisa, come and sit down. It's time to get your foot binding. Mm, no, thank you. I think I'll uh, I think I'll go somewhere else. Nah, eh, seems like I probably gotta do it. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Nana, what's foot binding? All the decent Whoa. girls at your age need to bind feet to four inches long, like Nana. People prefer small feet. It will make you graceful and easy to get married. All right, there will be pain. You need to bear it, Nisa. <laughs> Give me your next foot. Okay, now stand up and walk around. You need to get used to it.
Lisa. The matchmaker is here. Put on your best lotus shoes and come to the center hall. Coming. Will these shoes make the matchmaker happy? At least Nana will be pleased. Lisa, coming. Three inches long and no wider than a thumb is the term to describe an adult woman's lotus feet in ancient China. Lotus feet are the result of foot binding, which is to apply tight wrappings to the feet of a woman at a young age. So the feet will be distorted and small. In ancient China, small feet are a symbol of beauty. While the foot binding brought honor to ancient Chinese women, it also brought them lifelong tortures and pain. Since the early 19th century, under the influence of the natural feet movement, foot binding has been gradually abandoned by the majority. Till today. The last generation of foot binding women in China is in their seventies. Yeah, I guess that's the end. Yeah, that's it. All right. Cool. Any questions for the team? I have one question. Um, I was just a little unsure about the control scheme. Uh, is the player able to walk anywhere they want, or uh, how is that working? Yeah, I can talk about it just as a as a player doing it. The only control is the left thumbstick, unless I miss something. Uh, let, let you you move around with the left thumbstick. Okay. Cool. Thank you. <clears throat> so I guess just just what I'd say from a. <clears throat> um, from a player perspective, guest perspective, um, the the scenes are pretty, and it's easy to figure out what to do and where to go. Um, and the controls are simple. The most dramatic part is definitely when you uh, when you when you're up close with the grandmother, and she's actually binding the feet. Um, there is a real uh, sense of sort of physical presence with that, a sense of feeling small and she's big and all of that. Um, the downside to the experience is that because the interaction is so limited, because all you do is lean on that left thumbstick and you're not, you're not using your body to interact in any meaningful way, um, I, I, you kind of feel a little bit like you're a passenger. And I think another part of that is because there's you know, a torture aspect to this. I definitely felt my emotions wanting to pull away from it and making myself into a passenger as opposed to kind of wanting to kind of be drawn in, but that's part of the point of it. So um, I, know, I know my take was very much, um, there's ways this probably could have been a little more immersive, but on the other hand, the, the, the directness of it, the pointedness of it, um, uh, I, I, I guess I sort of liked being on that fence of like being in it, but wanting to pull away, but knowing that, you know, I should really kind of uh, push through on this, which honestly, that is sort of like a little bit of a meta on the foot binding itself, right? So anyway, there you go. There's my take on it from being in there. Cool. All right. Yeah, but I have a question for Jesse. Is, is there any difference you feel you felt before and after you, well, the, the, the foot binding, like is there a difference in the control or the feeling? I, it, it's really hard to see as a viewer. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the beginning, the character walks along stiffly but linearly. Um, later, after the foot binding, the, 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 uh, it doesn't always go when you want it to go. Um, so you push 
And sometimes it takes a step, but sometimes it just sits there and you have to wait. And then eventually the character takes a step. So the control system is actually, it changes. It just, you know, in, in, in a simple way, you can't move the way you want. Oh, cool. Thank you. Yep. All right, let's move on to the next world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Team 31. And I think next world is Team 33. But that was Team 32 just now, right? Oh, team 32, sorry. Yeah, that was Team 32. That was Team 32, yeah. 33. Those of you keeping score at home, this is mm -hmm. Spy Guy. Yeah. Yes. Excuse me. All right. Uh, I think, Sabrina, you're going to do this one? Sure. You can get to the right of the chair. I think so. Gonna, is this yeah. a solo game? Yeah, it's another VR. Oh, great. I will still take you. Yeah, that last one, That uh, there's definitely something about, you know, showing your feet bound that way at the very end. Oof. Yeah, great hey, business. Team 33, anything you want to set up for us here, or you just want us to jump into it? Uh, you can just jump yeah, into it. it's a solo game. Stand. Got one hand. Uh, they can jump into it, but they have to make sure, like, uh, they can hear Zoom as they're in the game as well. I can hear you guys, but I can't reach the folder because it's in the desk. <laughs> the center. Well, that's a problem. No, I need to restart it with me starting here. Right. Now it's like embedded in the Oh, no, it didn't move. But now I have two hands, so that's good. Oh, it's happening. Okay. Uh, you can oh, get it. Uh, well, there's actually part of the desk. You can uh, move around with the joystick. Yeah, oh, left click. Okay. Right okay. also works. All right. <laughs> Information I followed your characters. All right, is there. Is there a trick to grabbing things? I'm not sure how that's moving forward. It's okay. If you can spread that. Ooh, there's a lot of text. What am I doing? Just, just read these 10 pages now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's all in a single oh. declassified file. There's, the folder needs to open. There's some um, technical the issues game. about Good the. Hi, guy. Yeah. The president of country B, our biggest rivalry, is planning something very dangerous and evil. Our special intel division has deciphered a secret message leading to the final classified file which is in the present room of Country B. According to our satellite images, Country B is actively testing unknown weapons recently. It is believed that this piece of information will reveal the details of Country B's plan and is critical for our country's safety. Your mission is to steal the information in the present room of Country B. If you are caught or killed, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of action. Good luck, Spy Guy. Okay, we're in. Remember, find out what they're up to and get out. There's a security guard. Dock behind the desk. Now! Okay, 
we're clear now. Ooh, that was close. Oh, by the way, did you see there's a safe under the desk? Maybe we can find something to open it. Maybe some kind of password. Nice, we got a cassette. I think this is it. Now try to put it in the phonograph. Let's see what will happen. Good morning, Mr. President. As you know, the missile launch you requested is expected to occur right on schedule. You also requested a special presidential abort button in case you had second thoughts about the launch or any other need for it. This voice memo is to confirm that maintenance finished installing it yesterday night. You'll find it behind the B seal at the front of your desk, which can be slid open to reveal the button. To be quite honest, I don't know what this message is talking about at all, but I was told to record this for you, so I trust that this is helpful for you, Mr. President. This is Vice Secretary of Secondary Internal Affairs, Karen Molly Oh, wonderful there. <laughs> oh shit, we're trapped. Find a way out before oh, I can you fell for it. Oh. Nuclear weapon spy guy has... What? No! That wasn't supposed to... Mission accomplished, spy guy. We're gonna get you out of the ASAP. All right. Awesome. Good job, Good. Spy Guy. Super cool in environment. The environment was really nicely laid out. I love walking behind the desk and everything. I did not obviously realize that uh, the joystick would move me around, which I probably should have, but just a little instruction would have helped me not flounder. Any, anybody have questions? Cool. All right. Good work, team. And I'm going to move on to the next world, which is Team Eight. I believe teammate is a uh, download single player keyboard mouse, correct? Yep. Yep. All right. I have it downloaded. I can see if it runs. Teammate, is there anything you want to set up or should we just jump into the world? Uh, I think you can just jump in. All right, let's go for it. Yeah. Five years ago, the government raided my lab to find the secret for time machine. Oh, I see. I'm just going to look at the character for a second. Yeah, that's pretty uh, great. If we do make it. Would you ask? Do it. Uh, but if we do get selection festival, that one thing we want to look into is building for WebGL instead of download. Hmm. I got caught, but Google saved me from them. 
Since then, I have finally completed the mission, machine from the papers that I have salvaged. Oh, the sacrifice of Gugu. Gugu! I know Gugu. Oh. So we're traveling back in time to save Gugu. Something went wrong there. I feel like the uh, the yeah. door card disappeared from existence. Yeah, okay, I think it was Maybe this one. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's try this one more time. There. Is I think it's dropping it through the wall. Yeah, it's coming through the wall. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Um, I think I get it though. So I'm gonna exit. Uh, is there more, or should we try it one more time? I mean, there's two more puzzles, but like as you saw, whenever you die, you just kind of start at the beginning, so you can get through it pretty quickly. Right. Did you? Uh, we could show the, the the rest of it on video. Yeah, I could yeah. pull that up. Yeah, pull it up and sort of jump to the to where we got to. Weird. They, it looks like it just barely failing on my end. Yeah, it's definitely an edge case. Nice job. Great. Building virtual worlds. It's exactly what I'd use a time machine for. Yeah. All right. Any questions for the team? All right. Well, thank you, team. I think. We're ready to go on to the next world. Yep. Okay, thank you.
Welcome, Team 10. And this world is one player for, with microphone, correct? Yeah. Yes. All right. Do we have a volunteer from Jury who has this downloaded and wants to try it out? I'm still downloading it, but if nobody else wants to, I can I've got it on. running. Oh, great. Um, whether the microphone works on this other computer, I don't know. Uh, I'm actually using this on my second computer where I'm not had doing Zoom. So I'm going to just point the camera at it. If that works. Is sure. That working? Do you see anything on my camera? or? Uh, hold on. we got to probably pin your camera to find you. There we go. Oh, my camera got weird. Hang on a second. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, uh, uh. Here, let Hang me. on. My, my, suddenly my camera failed. I've got it over here. Let me see if it'll work on my end. All right. I also don't think this one needs a camera. I think it's just Mike, right? It, it was just so that we could see it because he's got it on a camera, a device, a machine that's not machine. zoomed. I Okay, I think I've got it. You got it going, Zach? Yeah. All right. Uh, assuming that the mic will work, do I need to mute or anything for Zoom, or is it just listening for mic input? Generally, you can have Zoom running and the world should run as well. Okay, it's attempting to receive an audio stream, which I expect. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. okay. Voice guiding way. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Okay. rather nice the uh that the last section was a little confusing and probably not necessary but uh the cutscene was really nice there stop sharing cool beans any questions for the team was it supposed to have me pointing in the opposite direction 
when it went up there? Yeah, it, it's so you can see the view, I guess. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I was super confused because it kept, uh, like, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to go that direction or not. But I get you. All right. Thank you very much, team. Thank you. Thank you. And actually, we have successfully caught up with oh our, my gosh. our schedule. Ooh. Look at that. That is amazing. So we have a uh, we have sort of a, a break, a ten minute break built into our schedule here. Um, but I think the next world up is going to be Air Console. Air Console. Two point. I think we have two air consoles um, in a row. And then we have uh, some more, two more VR, um, no, three more VR, and two webcam and mic. Okay. Well, I guess I had any questions um, for jury members about possibly like worlds we've seen and like how we might run stuff. My biggest question was the stuff we saw in the morning was the network games was just what seemed like an absence of a lobby system to queue up and organize players so that you know if you need four, you got four. You know if you want to play with three others, you got the three others you want to play with. I know it's complicated, but I just don't know how teams are going to coordinate that lobby system. And I guess you guys are thinking about doing that through Zoom, and but I'm not sure about time tickets. I, I just don't know how you're going to have Good throughput, so you get more than a dozen players an hour. Yeah, I think it's one, and, and we were seeing stuff where some worlds were connecting and some worlds weren't connecting. And so I think it's, yeah. it's I mean, one of the things we have ahead of us is trying to get some coordination on strategies that we can share and sort of unify. I think one of the things that will will probably have to happen is guests get taught something, and then the world worlds are very similar in how they do stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like the Let's Bounce lobby was really solid. Um, I felt that one's probably had, had a little bit of time to iterate on it, though. Yeah, I think that's one thing we'll, we'll be looking at. Um, we have, a, thankfully, festival is not this Friday. That is good. Uh, I have a question. So, you know, there are various categories of experience, one that requires a VR and, you know, one the air console app. Um, how are you kind of uh, um, like, you know, uh, sending kind of guests to to each of the one or appropriate? Is that messaging that's done in the CloudWorks experience or are you kind of sending them to, hey, this is the VR corner. Uh, what's some thought, uh, what's going on there? So the, I think an open question is how is VR? going mm -hmm. to the festival. Um, mm -hmm. And my hunch is that it's mostly, most of them are single player experiences and they might end up in an asynchronous space where it's just like, hey, this is a world that requires VR. And if you have VR, like it's similar to the, the hardware requirements and signaling pretty clearly like this is, this gives you a good chance of success running this world. Um, and I think we're gonna need to find a clear way to signal that. Um, because it's it's pretty narrow, like it's um, it's built. I mean, they're all built for basically Oculus Rift, um, and there's that's just another level of like getting getting things to work that we're gonna have to to manage. Um, and I think it's part of what Jury is gonna be talking about is just worlds. Where's the line between a world that um, just works and a world that has some challenges but is still compelling? Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, a question connected to that. Um, for Oculus Rift experiences, I guess it, the build has to be downloaded uh, to their device locally? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, I, and it was something that came up with uh, some of the teams for the, the non, basically worlds that are, are more in the download space, like possibly building for WebGL. Um, and trying to make it a, a faster like and more reliable run uh, thing as well. Um, but that's like there's there's sort of a, a one of the big challenges ahead of us is 
testing and you know making sure that worlds run on a variety of machines. Uh, there's a question of building, making Mac builds and all that stuff. Um, and it's, yeah. I think it's gonna be hard for us to judge, like, is this world, is this world gonna be uh, reliable across many different platforms or is it going to be challenging? Yeah. And, and I don't know if it's, if, if it's on you or if it's on the Cloudworks team, but getting that whole download communicated that you might have to work with virus defenders and how do you get around and just trust it because it's unsigned and how is your team kind of vetting and making sure that yes, indeed, there's no viruses buried in the ZXEs. It's, it's a challenge. Yeah. No, I mean, this, I, I mean, jury is doing a lot of good stuff. So like, this is a great play test for some things, um, but it means there's gonna be some things to, to tackle. Um, so. Cool, thank you. Yeah, a suggestion might be just have a super thin EXE and download and test and say that, yes, indeed, that works. Because even making the, the time investment of downloading a gig or, and then seeing that, no, nothing's going to work, something you can turn around real quickly. Yeah, the only weird thing is, I, I if I remember correctly, when I was talking to people, it sounded like everybody was using Photon as their back end. Is that correct, Dave? For the most part, yeah. And network worlds are using Photon. Yeah, so, so it's a. Uh, we talked with some of the teams. The reason why some of them was working for a lot of people and some weren't was because um, some of them had set it to only use the West Coast server, and then other teams set it to use the server closest to you. So mm. that ended up splitting up people a lot. That well, makes that, some sense. Sounds like a, potentially an easy fix for people then. Yeah, that's good. All right. Cool. So we should probably just. Assume generally assume networking is going to be consistent across all apps if if some made some slight changes are made. That's good. Yeah, and I think it's one thing we can. I mean, this is this is where putting notes in the the evaluation form, like we can highlight worlds that like they're going to need a consistent lobby system. I think that'd be a, probably a, a major thing that like we're going to try yeah. to help with is consistency in getting into worlds and. I mean, one, I think especially the everyone's going to run it, and when they run it, it shouldn't it shouldn't break things just because someone ran the world. Right. Yeah. The mirror is a good example of that one, I think. Yeah. But that's. I mean, like I said, we have we have a little bit of time before festival. Not, you know, not an enormous amount of time, but this is something that teams are a little bit set up to 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 focus on. Uh, we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna be clever about stuff that's in scope. I, I think the good thing is normally with BBW, you would have, okay, you're in the BBW show. Now you have to like basically get everything working in a show environment <laughs> at the last minute. Like it, it's more of just, okay, make sure your thing's polished now. Just don't, you don't have to present it necessarily. It's just more of a um, kind of an attraction setup. All right. Well, uh, have people downloaded the next world? I thought it was Air Console. Yes. Oh, yeah, right. They don't need to download, just Air Console. Two players next for the next world. All right. Well, should we, uh, let's go ahead and get the team in. Let's get the ball on this. So, I believe the world is Team 26? Yes. Team 26. Sophia. All right. Welcome team. Uh, I believe Air Console. You yeah, Air Console. You want to get us set up? Tell us what, you're, what we're doing. Um, yeah, now if you can you share your screen? Um, you're going to have to inspector mode right now. Could you repeat that? Um, I mean, uh, so the guest can share the screen. 
So um, you can see that. Okay, um, which two people are going to play? I'll um, play. All right, I'm gonna send, only one of you should open the link I'm about to send. Okay. Um, I see that you will confuse Danny. They published theirs, so um, the person running it can actually post it on their own computer. Wait a minute, so this link, I'm not opening it in Air Console? No, no, no. Um, you can open that one on your computer, the link okay. I just sent, and then um, it'll bring up the uh, code after you hit start. So do a, do a screen share from there. Yep. What pushing was that? <laughs> I wasn't pushing anything. I can uh, join as the secondary person. All right. All right. So am, I, I will... am I not going in then, or am I? Oh, you, you can go are. in. That's fine. Yeah. OK. Yeah, it'll be both of you. OK. Oh. OK. This is a two-player game, right? Yep, it's a two-player game. So I've got a little controller set up. Yeah. I'm the front. We, do we get to talk to each other and help each other? Yeah, yeah you can talk to each other. Okay. Okay. So on the oh, on the front of this, I see us over here. Okay. Oh, oh dear. Oh great, we get to walk together. I've done this. Ah. Before, sort of. <laughs> Hold on. I love it. Okay. Okay. Can we just walk straight. I gotta get. So uh. I'm gonna take a step forward. Okay. Oh, oh, that's amazing! It's okay. I, I think I get it now. Um, let's Wait, see. I got now okay. Take a step forward. Yeah, now you, you take forward. A... Okay, there we go. All right, right you guys. <laughs> okay, that's great. That's great. Yeah, it's it's a it's a little laggy, which makes sense, and it actually fits the, the thematics. Oh wait, okay, I got I, that's where it's going. Okay, I love the camera lens effect at the around the edges. Oops, sorry. Gotta wait for you. Oh, uh, going. Uh, it, oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. I, so I thought it was tank controls. My bad. All right. This is a lot easier. Yeah, no, we're, we're rolling. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I wanted to get a beer. I was rolling too, too fast. Wait, where okay. are we? Okay. okay, and I have a jump button. So I don't know what that's going to do. Yeah. When do you want to jump? Now? I'm going to jump. OK. Yep. Oh. Oh. The aesthetic is great. The art looks awesome. Oh, oh, I get it now. OK. okay. All hey, right. I got to wait for you to get in my, can you go forward one? Maybe I got to back up. Oh. Uh, oh. OK, let's, OK. So I can't seem to unjump you, so I guess we'll just yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I'm in the air. Oh. Yeah, I think I think we bugged it out somehow. Um okay, because I can't not jump. Well let's, now. let's see if oh. let's see if we can go over this thing. Oh. 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 Mm, I think we might be stuck. Can we back up one? Uh Are you unable try. to move? No, the problem is that Every time he dies, like we automatically, I can't unpick I'm, him. I'm up. in the air. I can't yeah. get out of the air. Um, oh. Oh, um, press jump. So that's the problem: is jump's not responding. It yeah, was before. I think the oh, problem okay. is we died while we were in the middle of, like while I was pressing jump, and so it's just locked in place now. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I have a. Can you try like move to the to the body to lying on there? Oh. Where should we move? Yeah, can you move like the the backward pace? But can you move I, that? I, so, we we so, can move fine. I'm just I'm in the air. Yeah, and oh, uh, uh, one more step. Yeah. So the back the back end person, you have to face to their body and one yeah. uh, uh, uh one step closer. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Then, okay. Yeah, you go. Okay. Yeah, I think that's just what was bugging out. All right. So um, I think you need to move, but I can't see. Oh. oh. Oh, well, okay, at least it's fixed now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 Turns are tricky. Okay, now I gotta turn. I gotta go. Now I gotta jump. 
Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. We're so we, we both jumped. Got it. All right. Now hold on. All right. Hold on. Okay. You got to turn. Oh, oh, you're right. Shoot. I can Yeah, I, yeah, can't I think turn it right. <laughs> oh. Well, I think we kind of get the idea, though. I don't know if we need to keep right, playing. Yeah. But let's try. Hee haw! Okay. Yeah, Chad has a video pulled up if we don't want to keep playing. Oh, I somehow picked this up again. Oh. oh. Yeah, you have to be careful with that. <laughs> I didn't realize I was picking him up. I guess I must have tapped forward again. Yeah, let's let's we can just come jump to video. I think we got the idea of the game. Yeah, yeah. it's actually it's fun. Yeah. Yeah, neat idea. I am Cody. Alright, I'm gonna press start. Yeah. Red, oh. Oh. That was good. It, it actually it, it felt really fun, and I assume we're just gonna walk our way to a door. Um, should I just skip ahead to the yeah. location? Alright, yeah. good. Yeah, probably skip to where they passed. This is okay, wait, wait, our, oh, our Uber man. driver's here. You better hurt. Course feature. Uh, okay, jump. jump. No, you're done. Alright, we're nice. lined up. Jump. Right, jump. Jump. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting the sound pack now. Okay, I'll just play from here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if uh, you can differentiate Dave's voice in the video to Dave actually. He was just saying to jump yeah. to the end. Oh. What's that? Jump to the end. Okay. Jump to the yeah, end. Yeah, okay. the end to the end. Oh, that's cute. So you have to like dodge the guy throwing stuff. Are we aligned with the right square? Uh, then the next one. The next one. There's the um, uh, one unit. Leo, yeah, let them play. <laughs> I have to say, even though, yeah, you probably shouldn't have given us the hint, at least we're so close to the end. I don't want to fail. <laughs> 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 okay, I don't know what this YouTube movie is. <laughs> yeah, it was a little laggy, but it that's again. That still kind of fits the thematics. And it, it was a really interesting mechanic that if we cooperated, we advanced, and if we just mixed ourselves up, we kind of fell, but didn't didn't get penalized too badly, and got to pick ourselves back up. So it was fun. I definitely want to play this through the end. Cool. Any cool. other questions, comments from the team? Um, so we also trying to like design some like uh, experience for the audience. Something like we probably uh, ask them to grab a like a glass or something. So when we saw the uh, the play, the guest uh, just uh, fold it down and then we can just say cheer and then like, everybody can like have a drink. Yeah, it's kind of our uh, experience, yeah. Drinking yeah. game without liability. Yeah, yeah but we, we hope there was uh, like an old age so everyone can grab some soft drink, something like no need to have a Nice. <laughs> All right, good work team. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. All right. So we're going to team 27, which is another air console game, right? Yes. And four players. Four. Four. Yes. four. All right. Welcome, team. Uh, can you uh, give Hello. us what we're going to play and how you want to run it? Yeah, so our game is a four-player air console game, um, but we will need a host to run the main scene. Um, Steph, are you running that, or should I? Um, if you have it ready, you can. Okay.
Sorry, it makes me log into Perforce every time I want to run the game because it's changing files. That's fun. Yeah. Okay, now this should be all set up. Okay, I will share my screen. Um, so the code is, uh, is everybody ready? Yes, yes. Okay, the code is 144404. And let me know if you need that again. Yes. <laughs> um, it doesn't look like it's coming through. Yeah, Is there I'm anyone loading. connected through? I'm loading, loading, loading. Okay. Same as Mike. Who else? Okay. We have two. Do we have other also? Well, I a think I'm loading, just I could not I was, okay. I was trying to connect as well. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Steph, can you run it on your side? Because it might be like yeah. my firewall or something. Yep, I will get it set up. Okay, thanks. So should we exit out? Yeah. Yeah, exit out and we'll try it again. Okay. Let me know if you need me to run it. Mm -hmm. uh, Tianming is in the waiting room. Can you? Yeah. I already admitted her. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Same code or different? Um, it'll be different. Steph okay. will share the code. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's working. Oh yeah, you should probably change. Yeah, there you go. You're getting paid, right? Okay, food, good.
Mm. So, what you'll have to do is communicate with each other to build the furniture. Does anybody have oh. a? Does anybody have a saw? I have a hammer. Oh, I have a saw. Uh, okay. Um, I can. I have a screwdriver. I think. Wait. Oh, I, does anybody have two what look like cotton balls? Yes, I got three of them. Could you send me two cotton balls? Yeah. All right, so tap. Item is selected. Okay, I yeah. guess I gave you all three. Okay, oh, I see it. And then the, uh, the person's name. Okay. All right, I'm building a sofa. Am I just a giver? I don't. I, there we go. I, no, so you can build any recipes that are on your screen. You should see a recipe below at the very bottom of your screen. Oh, um, so I see like a paintbrush. I need a paintbrush from somebody. Oh, I got. Uh, okay. Yeah, so you can ask around. I so who's got the sewing needle? Oh, I think I got it. But how do I send it? Uh, you can tap on the item, then tap on the player. Um, All right. so people can send me glass jars. I need glass jars, like an empty canning jar for the Gla empty canning jar. Well, it has like a hook mm. to it. Wait, do you mean like the 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 paint bucket? Okay, maybe it's a paint bucket. <laughs> All right. Uh, what? Deep through paint bucket. Is it, is that Mike or Kevin? Mike. Yeah. Mike. Okay. All right. There you go. Oh, and I've I've got this sewing needle. Okay. Does anybody have two um, blankets? I have one blanket. So I need more paint buckets. If people could send me paint buckets. Mike. And I need a hammer. Could you uh -oh. show the, your smartphone to the camera so we can sort of see what you're seeing? <laughs> that's that's the recipe. And what's above it? What do you see of sort of the, that's the interface? That's my in inventory and who I can send to. Does anybody have a spool of thread? Cool. Thanks, Mike. Yep. Uh, yeah, no, I don't. I, it says zero. Okay, uh, I got the I'm, spools. I'm Thanks. For, uh, people can send me a hammer. Oh, okay. Someone did. Thank you. And if anybody's got. Do you have a screwdriver? Do you not have a screwdriver? I think a screw I. Then? I, I had to oh, close actually, the have it. No, out of mine. So um, I if, anybody's have got a, if anybody's got a blanket, let me know. Uh. So whoever closed out is orphaning me with my without oh, a slide needle. And... I'm so sorry, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited to make this. <laughs> it's a cute idea. Uh, yeah. So basically, everybody's got their own unique recipes, I assume. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Did we finish? It says look at the main screen. <laughs> Good job, guys. We had the magic sword <laughs> <right there. laughs> We built one twelfth a piece of furniture. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> uh, you know, I... <laughs> so... <laughs> Sorry. So I assume each player gets like three different things they have to build. So you're yeah. passing everything around. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what, one question on the, the art, the inventory was colored, the recipe was not, it was line drawings. Mm -hmm. Was that intentional? Yeah. Yeah, we try to differentiate uh, the different, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it so just it made me, when I asked for the paint bucket, it looked more like a canning jar to me than a paint bucket because it was clear and it was see-through. Yeah. I see, that's a problem. Uh, one thing that happened with my UI was that the uh, the app had like a keyboard pop up that would kind of obscure the bottom half of the screen. I think that was that's not your game itself, but uh, just, just you know what I mean. That's the, a console yeah. type. Console uh, yeah, console name entry. It's a yeah. little annoying. So it kind of like at first I was really confused because I couldn't see any players to select, <laughs> and then I actually had to exit out, which is why because it, it wouldn't go away. So I'm not sure if that's yeah. like something. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, one thing I would like to mention, oh, I'm sorry. I, I just, I like this. I really like this. Even though we didn't get to play very far, I think this would be a lot of fun to kind of
talk through and organize, are we, how do we know how much time is left? Uh, how do we know what the time pressure is? The timer is on the main screen. Okay. Yeah, so it's just counting down. Yeah. Very clean aesthetic. Uh, my thing I would like to mention is, uh, as a first, I was very confused because I, I don't I did not know if I actually sent the object or not. There's a there's a small con counter below the below the object, but there's no other feedbacks. So that's really obvious. Says so I'm sending this object or I'm not or it, it made a whistling noise when you sent something to somebody, but you do? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, but, but I don't that, think the zero the zeroed out items didn't look grayed out or they didn't look different from the ones that had counts. Yeah, mm -hmm. to, so to build something, you just you, you basically, same as sending it to another player, you sent it to the recipe in the bottom. Um, yeah. But So more audio feedback, probably. Yeah. Or yeah. Actually, more feedback zero. in general. Yeah. It, you, actually, a great way, if, if you have the time, um, having the game start with everybody building a quick recipe would be a great way to get people understanding the actual core interaction. Mm -hmm. um, before they actually start in the flow, because the the explanation made sense, but I, I think the actual doing of it, like, might yeah. be might be a good first step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, thanks. Steve. Good work. All right, the next world is VR. River, do you have uh, Oculus Rift? I do have a rift, but I'm still trying to set it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let me see how quickly I can do this. Hello. Hello, team. Hello. All right. I think the question is, let me, let me see. River, if you can uh, look at, oh, uh, yeah. Right. I'm actually setting up at this very moment for the first time. I'm this a, uh, another uh, Sabrina up here to do VR as well. So, uh, team, anything you want to do to set up the world? Let us know what we're getting into. No, just make sure you have enough space to reach around. That's about it. Uh, Wait, how big is the space do I need? <laughs> actually, this is my river. Sabrina will do this one. You can do the next one, okay? Okay, I will do that. And we've got uh, Team 35. All right, you ready for this? Sure. Uh, it's called Scrapbook. Uh, I think standing is fine. Are you ready? I just want to mention one thing. In case your space does not allow you to reach something, you can use the laser pointer to grab things instead of using your hand. Okay. So you have an alternative choice. Okay. Let me get share screen. Not up yet. Oh my. Um, try downloading the one that's in the, uh, chat. Yep, I'm going for it. All right, give me a sec. Okay, let me, hmm. I think it might not be that link. Give me a second. Okay. I sent the link in chat. Okay, downloading. Give me one minute or less.
All right, we should be ready to go. Let's try this out. But anyway. Thank you for your interest in. I am sorry to inform you that. Unfortunately. Love telling me how I get them messing around with the camera when I was young. I guess I've been drawn to films ever since I was a baby. I played with that camera more than all my other toys combined. This film festival. I got the first award of my life here. Hmm, I wonder where I put that trophy. It must be around here somewhere. Better choice is to start over. Oh. Yeah, I think you just clipped outside the house. So try not to use the the, the joystick. That that will make you teleport to other. Thank place. you for your interest in. Just I'm use at an A. That will activate. Yeah. Unfortunately, at this time we do not. Thank you for your interest huh. in. I remember this photo. I am sorry to inform you that. I've been to films ever since I was Unfortunately, at this I time, you didn't know. Film festival. Thank you for your interest I in. I got the first award of my life here. I am sorry to inform you that. I wonder where I put that trophy. Unfortunately, at yourself. this time, we do not. Thank you for your interest in. I am sorry to inform you that. Unfortunately, at this time, I still remember that. Thank you for your interest in. When I saw everyone enjoying my film. I am sorry to inform you that. That? Oh yeah. I, I remember this assignment. Terrible prompt. Terrible professor. Even worse grade. I was so mad afterwards ripping up the rubric and everything. I wonder though, what kind of comments did I get? Well, the feedback here is fair. Still, pretty mean though. I was a little caught up in my emotions back then, I guess. My professor really was trying to help me. I think? Sometimes, I really thought about giving up. I seriously started doubting if I should continue to pursue my dreams. To continue aspiring to become a film director. Would I ever get my diploma? Graduating, I started up a small indie film studio with some of my friends. We were all so excited. This was going to be our first step into the big wide world. I still remember when we took our first scene. It was an unforgettable moment. I... One, take three, mark. I remember those times. It was so much fun working on that film with my friends. Everyone worked so hard to make it the best they could possibly be. Our debut film team and I poured our heart and soul into making that thing. We were so excited when there were reviews for it on the newspaper, but 
once we saw what was written, our dreams were shattered. Our studio went under after making just that one film. We worked so hard, yet, in the end, we were left with nothing. Can I even do this? Am I even cut out to be a film director? Wait, is that me? But how? Well, there is my rejected script, I guess I could put it here for now. Yeah, Heather, you need to go to the last page. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> hey, how's it going? So, I know you submitted a script to the company I worked at, and now I kind of got rejected. But I looked over it and thought it was really good, so I showed it to my boss. And guess what? He also loved it. Could you come in, like, right now? My boss is really excited about meeting you. <laughs> awesome. Questions, comments, question for Sabrina. Yeah. For this world and the other worlds, I just think the audio, it really helps to make you be in an experience. So I like having that audio there. So if you guys are composing it and making it, just it's a great touch. It really helps the world. And then the only hiccup in the experience seemed to be at the very end because you know the audio did drop away then the book seemed to be closed. Did you, how did you know there was more to do? I, to be honest, I really didn't. I wasn't sure if it was just kind of an abrupt ending or it felt like I was waking up from a dream. So that part I read. And, and, uh, but the fact that the book was closing, so I was opening it in a dream, I just wasn't sure what, if, if, any, if I should make it. There's a bunch of pages to flip through. So I was a little like, should I flip through them all again or? That makes sense. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Um, we're thinking about like other ways to um, guide the player to flip the book or just have the book open at the very last uh, scene. But we're, yeah, we're exploring options. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm sure you can find something to smooth that out a little bit. But grabbing the objects remotely instead of moving was was weird too. Again, it's just like each each world has its own solution for that so just explicitly telling the guests what to do there like like you guys did but i don't know if they'll if, if you're not available something in the world that tells me what to do would be nice cool all right thanks team thank you thank you, thank you. and the next one is team 36. 
River, are you gonna are you able to do this roll? Is this uh, which one is this? Thirty six. Oh, give me a second. Oh, I haven't downloaded it yet. No. I'm gonna do it right now. And I guess, uh, team, anything you want to set us up for? Let us know about the world. How are we gonna run it? Um, it's essentially a VR game. So um, we need an Oculus headset and uh, you can play just sitting on your chairs, but just leave some space in front of you. All right, still downloading. <laughs> Sorry about this. We talk up uh, directly in the in the Oculus asset. I said. Is it working? Uh, I don't think it's streaming to the to the headset. Is there something I need to do with Oculus? Uh, or is have you have you opened Oculus like? The Oculus software. The app, yeah, I have it open. I also downloaded uh, the the executable and running the executable in my machine. Good, good job. Uh, is it possible you share your screen so we can help? Oh, oh yeah, sure. Give me a second. Oh, um, it shows like your headset is not connected in this way. Oh. Can can you just close like the app and try to reopen, like just to restart it to see? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, it's not working. Great. <laughs> it's working right now. Cool. Uh, can you share your sound as well? Like you, you haven't shared your what, like right. your sound. Yeah. You okay? Wait. I'm not super sure how I share my sound. Um. So when you're sharing screen, there should be like a little drop down that pops up at the top yep. of the screen, all the way on the right. There should be a little check you can do for share um sound. I think share computer sound maybe. Oh yeah, share computer sound. Okay. Do you have enough? Or should I turn it up a little bit? Okay, it's already in the. Can you can you hear anything from the game? I can hear everything from the game. Can you? Uh, uh, uh no, we can't. Okay, but, sure. Yeah, but it's, it's it's okay. You can just continue. I don't know, but yeah, there is no sound from our side. Wow. All right, I can try to explain it while I play it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, it's worth getting the audio. Um. Would it be would it work to reshare? Like stop sharing and reshare? Will that catch it? That might help. Um also I know sometimes you have to change the audio source in the bottom right, but I don't know if that is required right now. Are you saying anything? Um try to stop sharing. Yeah, because you already have that. Um can you I can stop on? sharing? Can you click on your audio source in the bottom right corner? Yep. This one? Yeah, it's sharing that one. Huh. It's sharing from Oculus headphones. Oh, maybe not the virtual device? You're, well, it says I'm sharing my computer sound. <laughs> Let's 
So you still don't have any sound, right? Try stopping share and resharing. Okay. No. No. Does someone else want to play so we can have the audio? Yeah, give me one second. All right, we're, we're going to play it up here. Okay, sounds good. Are you ready? So we'll check. Okay. 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 You hear it? Yep, we can't hear. I guess I'd better write something today. Another boring day passes in this room. I'm not feeling well today. Probably don't have much time left from the looks of things. It's weird. No, not only have I gotten used to hospital life, but even the thought of dying no longer scares me. That's how things are, I guess. Can exactly changed this reading of mine, can I? At any rate, no matter how boring it gets around here, Sienna's always there to write to my day. I feel so blessed to have such an happy fan of my fantasy stories. And yet, I feel so sorry for her. Life doesn't grant Sienna the pleasure of eyesight, so she's never truly known the real world. At least I know what exactly I can do to help. Hello? You in there? It's Sienna. May I come in? Oh, there you are, Sienna. I hope you didn't come here all by yourself. Does the nurse know you're here? You know it's dangerous to wander the hallways alone. Don't worry, I'm fine. But what about you? Are you ready again? I didn't mean to interrupt, but I just really wanted to continue yesterday's story. Yeah, it was just a little journal entry. But I'm all done for today. Great! Does that mean you have time to continue the story? Of course. Now, where do we leave off? All right, the traveling little girl. So, what happens next? Where does the little girl end up this time? This time, she finds herself within the darkest of worlds. Here, all the light and color has run away. Sounds like a sad place. I bet she can't see anything at all. Just like me. Don't worry. The little girl always finds her way, doesn't she? This time around, she will capture the lost light and color. Wow, that's so cool. How does she do that? After looking around, she finds it. A shining point of light right in front of her. It's a light that left the world. Grabbing quickly, she tosses the light up into the sky. Now, what does the world look like? Since the light has returned, the little girl cannot see the world for what it is. She sees a vast kingdom surrounded by limitless natural beauty. However, everything is still gray because the colors don't miss it from the wall. But I'm sure the girl can get the colors back. Can't she? Yes, she definitely can. Now, in front of the little girl, there stretches a wide lake with shining waves crashing upon the shore. She decides that this is where she will begin. Wow, a lake! 
music with shining waves. I can hear it and feel it so well. Dancing waves, drops of water kissing my face. That's right. Now the little girl tries to capture the color of the water. And once she does, she can return into the lake. What color is the lake now? The lake now is a deep blue. It's a color that makes you feel calm and refreshed. I think I can feel it. Yes, blue is a peaceful color. Seeing that smile on your face? I think you've got the right idea. And then what happens? All right. Next, there's a huge field of flowers. The little girl looks down and finds a yellow light fluttering around her feet. Pick it up! Pick it up! The girl picks up the collar, and with a touch, it returns to the field. Yay! How do the flowers look now? Oh, simply dazzling. Their soft yellow glows like the rays of sunshine at dawn. Sunshine. So, they're like the sun. I know the sun. It's very warm, and and it makes me happy. I felt warmth when I walked with the nurses in the garden. That's right. Now listen carefully. Did you hear that, Rosalind? It's a wind blowing across a flower field. Yes, yes, the rustling. Sha, sha. The flowers wave together in the wind, moving softly like a giant puffy marshmallow. A marshmallow. How sweet! Now, the little girl is going to add color to the trees. She sees greens and brown lights flying around her. Those are the colors of the trees. Green and brown? What does those feel like? Green tastes like a chocolate mint ice cream. Brown. Like cinnamon rolls. Oh, I love those, and I know what trees are like. I remember how leaves sound and how bark feels, and now I know their color. It really is something else, isn't it? The rough feeling when you touch a tree. Yeah. So, has everything returned to normal now? That's right. Color has finally returned to the world, filling the girl with an indescribable happiness. She grows tired and sits in the shade of an enormous tree. There, she falls asleep to the sun of waves and the fragrance of flowers. That sounds amazing. I wonder what it'd be like to see such wonderful things. One day you will know. I promise. <coughs> Don't worry, I'm fine. I just need some rest. <coughs> okay. Can you promise to continue the story tomorrow? Yes, for sure. But now it's time for you to go back. Careful, okay? I'll be careful. See you tomorrow then. Hope to see you then. Sienna, the traveling little girl will still continue her journey. I hope you know the time we spend together means much more than what I can describe. I really wish I could stay with you a little longer. There was time I have to say goodbye.
We were talking one day about whether you'd ever see the beauty the world has to offer. If you're reading this words right now, then you must have received my gift. Now, now it's, it's your turn to see. It's your turn to discover signs even grander than the ones I've showed you in my stories. The future holds much more than you'll ever know. Take care. All right, any questions? Question for the team, question for Sabrina. I have a question. Uh, how are you, uh, Sabrina, how are you moving just at the end? Uh, is it like on player input or was that like a, like a spline or something? I wasn't on player input. I have to say it was, it was uh, a little disorienting, mm -hmm. that movement. Um, speaking of someone who does use VR, it definitely, I mean, I think, it's short, um, but yeah, it's, it's, there's no player control. Okay, thanks. Cool, anything else? Beautiful story. All right, thank you team. Thank you. Thank you. All right, the next world is team 14, correct? Yep. All right. Do you want me to try running this? Or does anyone else want to try this? If you've got it ready, I say. Yeah. It's a webcam and mic game, so it should work online. Any uh, team you want to set us up? Tell us what we're about to do. Hello. Uh, yeah. So uh, basically, you're using your head rotation, like just move your head to to navigate the character, and you can lean your body forward to make the to make the character um, run so that. You can move faster, and um, as as a so you're gonna play as a vampire. So if you open your mouth, you can attack human. Okay, yeah. I'll start. Uh, can everyone hear the sound? Yep. Twelve hundred and sixty nights since the last blood moon. All of them spent in this coffin. No wonder I've got such a creak in the neck. They look so delicious. It's been so long. When they leave their protection zone, I'll show them. If there isn't any such thing as spam ah, not strong enough to overcome the protection. I need more blood. Hey, nobody's going to go missing today, okay? I think it's a nice night, nice little bonfire by the river. Thank you, Mary. Think I might go exploring. Come on, Mary. Don't go. Vampires can get to this area. Will you just stop it with the vampires? How about you stop believing me? Everyone shut up. There's nothing here in this woods. And I'm going to prove it. We have to stay by the campfire. It isn't safe. See what you did. This is all because we can't stop talking about vampires. I'm going with her. 
You have ruined a perfect good night, John. You never should have come here. Come now, it's sensible. By the lab way, well, I won't tell you if I've seen a vampire. A credit and a fan and glory will be mine, and I will be set here next to the garden. Someone can prepare. <laughs> I have drunk enough blood to transform that magic word. I think it is simply the name of that flying creature. Bat. Ooh. I feel like you've done this before, Mike. I've I've seen a video, so it's a little. It's not a full naive. But I've never played it. I meant in real life, but okay. <laughs> Bat. If I don't find my friends in three minutes, I'll leave. Uh, turn, turn. Get all the humans yet? Vampire, oh, vampire, I'm flying, I'm flying suck their Bat. blood. It is uh, not yet time for her. My hunger Bat. calls me to the ground. I'll pretend for two more minutes. Then I'll go back to the boat. Oh, sorry? No sense in looking for one part forever. I think there's voice, but it was very, very low. Bat. Uh, I... Bat. Ah, bat! 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 Nom nom nom. I'm strong enough now. <laughs> that witch has had it coming. Bat. Oh, you think you can suck my blood? You'll have to catch me first. <laughs> Is that the end? Yes, that's the end. All right. And you got a hundred percent. Good job. Oh, cool. Uh, I was I flying backwards because I was running into the witch. Um, I think in your screen share it wasn't optimized for video sharing, so we weren't. We were seeing like maybe one frame every ten seconds, so I'm not sure. Uh, oh! Oh I no! See, I can see it because um, because at first you are not strong enough to catch the witch. So every time you get closer to the witch, you just be 
like bounce back. But eventually, when you killed all the human beings, you are strong enough to attack the witch, so it won't be bounce back. I think that's that's the mechanic. I think. Okay. Yeah. Were, were were people able to see, or was it running at a very low frame? It was running fine on my computer, but yeah, it might have not been. The stream might have not been the best quality. Seemed fine to me. And for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it was just me. Never mind. All right. Thank you, yep. team. And next world is Team 34 and is VR, correct? Do we have a, uh, a volunteer to run the VR world? Uh, I could. I haven't downloaded it yet, so, but if no one else has it ready, I can. Uh, I can do that. Yeah, this is a VR game. Well, I can. I can try sharing so. again. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm I'm pulling it down right now. Okay. And I got my IT group to against their better judgment to whitelist me. So uh I'm doing doing that. Okay, so this game will be multiplayer, so um, I'm launching a server right now, so it should be open. It's not multiplayer right now, oh. though, right? What do you mean? Um, just to clear up for the jury, just one person from jury should join it, right? Yes, yes. Yes, person. yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, fired it up. I don't see it running yet, but maybe in a second here. I think you have to install Steam VR to run it. It's not. Yes, with it, it uses Steam VR. Oh, I have. I think I have Steam VR. I don't know if it's on. Do I need to turn it on, or will it turn it on by itself? It should turn itself on, but if it doesn't turn on, then it won't work. Uh, do I need to turn off Oculus VR? I think that should stay on also. That should also stay on, okay. Um, I think as long as you're logged into Steam right now, it should auto open. Okay, I'm, I'm probably not logged into Steam right this second, so let me check. Okay, no, now I am. All right, Steam is there, Steam is going. Click, click. Uh, I am experiencing failure to launch, and I don't know why. I don't see any errors or warnings. She's not running. Hmm. Oh, oh, you know what? I'm sorry. On this machine, Steam VR is not there. So let me do that. Sorry, Alvin. Hmm. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the problem. On this machine, I haven't had it there. Okay, so it's downloading now. Hmm. Sorry, yes, that's a little big. It's going to take a couple minutes. I'm sitting here staring at it. Will it be quicker for me to unplug everything and replug it into my other laptop, or will it be, or should I just wait for this download? So, uh, where are those cables? I don't know. It's going. It says we're two minutes away. We'll see. Sheesh, Steam VR is two gigs. I wouldn't have thought it'd be so big. Um. Are, did someone launch the game? Are you in the game right now? I, I loaded it up to see if I could get it to work. Oh, because I do see you in the game right now. So I, I canceled out. So Okay, I'll restart the server then. Yeah. I've got less than a minute to go on this download, so. All right. Yeah, this is designed to be a one-on-one, -on -one, so that's why we only have one room. Okay. Ten seconds, it says. All right, where is my thing? So. All right, that is there. So let me try again. So I guess if you don't have Steam VR going, it looks like it fails silently. Probably. I'm now filing, firing up Steam VR by hand. Oh, which is of course now installing itself. All right, looks like SteamVR is running. I'm going to now try firing this up for reals. It's thinking about it. Uh, 
And if that doesn't work, then um, it looks like Dave got the connection to work earlier. So we can. Yeah, Dave, I think it, this might be on you, Dave. Yeah, sorry for the whole Steam VR convolution. It's um, yeah, our team only has um, like vibes, so yeah, I get it, I get it. Yeah, <laughs> understandable. All right, let's do this. Team 34. All right, look good. Hey, over here. Hey, so I kind of zoned out at the end of class there. Uh, do you think I could borrow your notes? Can't reach into the ground. I'm not sure why it thinks. All right. I'm a nine foot giant. Um, yeah, we'll see if restarting works. Um, <laughs> you have to restart when you're like sitting, so the yeah. original height okay. is lower. Um, we can watch yeah, the video. I don't... Oh, yeah, we can watch the video. All right. Is there an Oculus? Hold up. Yeah. Setting in the setup here. I wasn't. I wasn't abnormally tall in the other one. Yeah, yeah, we've encountered that before. It's just we we can't get it to be reproduced on our own headsets. So we don't exactly know how to fix it. All right, well, we'll test on this one if you guys get a fix. Hey, who are we here? Hello. Hey, so I kind of zoned out at the end of class there. You think I could borrow your notes? Uh, sure. These are my notes. Awesome, thanks. You're really saving my butt there. Um, I don't think we've formally met yet. Uh, I'm Jacob, and you're Christina, right? Uh, yes, that's correct. Awesome, great to meet you, Christina. 
Uh, yeah, thanks again for these notes, by the way. Oh, drop something. What's this? Oh, I heart Jacob. Ha, <laughs> guess I wasn't supposed to find that, huh? Um, so I have a guitar lesson after class today, but would you want to hang out later? Uh, sure. I think, I think I'm free. Awesome. I'll see you later then. All right. Oh, man, moving is hard. I still can't believe we're actually doing this, you know, moving in together. It's a big step in our life. I'm nervous, but also excited. Uh, hey, could you put this box over by the door so I can take it in later? Sure. Thanks. You know, our relationship is really blossoming. Just like these flowers. I can't get enough of these flowers. I think I want them at my wedding. Uh, is it too early to talk about that? <laughs> anyway, could you go put these over by the dirt so we can remember to plant them later? Thanks. Oh, dirt over here by the fence? Over here. Yeah, just over there. Please some color. You know, I'm so glad that we decided to get a dog to help us settle in. What do you think we should name it? How about... Fred. Fred. That sounds like a great name for a dog. I can't wait to go look looking for him together. Oh, look at this. It's the note from the first day we met. You were so embarrassed, but... I couldn't help but fall for that cute little smile you do. You know, we should frame this. A symbol of our love for years to come. Um, well, I think that's it for all the unpacking here. Uh, I'll take this guitar in, um, and then we can get to unpacking the boxes inside. Let's make this house a home. All right. Let's do it. Look, I care about you, but I just can't take this anymore. You spend all day at work and you come home so late. I mean, I want to trust you, but, but tell me, is there somebody else? No, there's no one else. You know, I can't say I honestly believe you. Every night, Christina? And... Even if you're telling the truth, I can't live my life being alone all the time, all day, every day. I'm sorry, but I think I need to leave. And this, I think this is over. And you can keep Fred too. He was always your idea anyway. Hey, thanks for coming. It means a lot to me. Um, how do I look? Look good. Thanks. Um, I know we didn't work out the way we wanted to, but I'm happy now. And I hope you find happiness too. I hope you find your true love one day. Um, you should go take your seat. My bride is waiting for me. Okay. <laughs> we don't exactly have an ending, but <laughs> that is the end of the game. 
Right. It's a sit there and awkward ending twice. Yeah. <laughs> so our, our plan on this, like, because we figured out the, the VR, it might have, like, um, we have a problem to, um, to solve it, and especially for the networking. So we're trying to uh, transport our game to the, like, the regular 3D uh, game. So using the keyboard and mouse to, uh, like, moving and grabbing handies. That's our plan um, after the session. Mm-hmm. And that would be for the guest. I have a question. Uh, so uh, it, it seemed like the other character was controlled by uh, like someone who is almost doing a performance, right? Uh, it was not yeah. like microphone that was triggered or anything. Okay, because I was like, yeah. oh, Dave said Fred. That seems very convenient that the NVC also said Fred. So, okay, just to clarify that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we also uh, developed more uh, storylines, so can um, like serve for like different uh, ending in the uh, in our world. Um, we this is was kind of the features of like improv in our game. Yeah. So what we do is we give the actor um, total control over the scene transitions and the triggers in the scene. Mm -hmm. So we have a basic storyline set out. And if the guest follows it, then everything goes as planned. Um, but we do expect people to try and test the boundaries. Mm -hmm. So we'll give the actor more control over what we what they can change in the world to respond to the guest. Cool. Thanks for clarification. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, team. And I think it's time for the last world of the day. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. And so with that, it's time for team 16. This good old pack whale. Exactly. Yes. No. Oh. I've, I've got that loaded up. I can try it. All right, I'm gonna go for it, Jesse. All right, uh, let me just, it's on a different machine though, so I'm gonna do this rotate thing here. We'll see if this works. Can you, I don't, what are you seeing right now? Oh, my camera is black, what the heck? What is with this, my computer's crazy today. If Jesse can't run it, I can again do it because it's another webcam game, so. Uh, give me one second, see if this works. Get my camera working. There we go. All right. Can you see that well enough? Little over the shoulder view here. I have no idea how you play this. Starting my journey. Uh, oh, okay, so I, I turn my head, I guess. I tip up, yes. I sit down. And uh, you can open and close your mouth to eat things. Chomp, 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 chomp. Okay. Is there a way to um, open up the sound on your uh, computer? Uh, Sorry. <laughs> it, it, maybe I have it muted. I'm not sure here. Let's see. There we go. All right, there's some sound for you. All right, I'm going to start it. <clears throat> maybe. There you are, my latest creation. Oh, you look hungry. Look around. There should be some snacks floating nearby. Uh, I don't see any. 
Is that a snack? Let's see here. That red thing, I guess. Ah, no, 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 no. Was that successful? Did I eat that? I can't I have no idea. Uh, when you eat, please keep your mouth open. You don't have to close it to eat things. Yeah, you do. I've eaten things uh -oh. before. <laughs> this is a different world. <laughs> All right. Don't tell me how to eat food. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and get back there. So far, I'm not doing so great. Hello? Uh, right. maybe, maybe you want to, like, stay a little bit like farther from like the camera because like it seems like it's too close maybe are there okay yeah, the yeah, you don't, yeah you don't need to like turn a lot to actually control like the well just turn a little bit and it will react yeah okay you're right it works better farther back yeah. there we go Where where am I where am I going? Through this door? Maybe. Little fish door? No. Um oh in here. Okay, fail. I'm gonna eat you. Come on, buddy, turn your head, would you? Who this is tiresome. Come on, turn around. Ugh. Turn already. There we go. Excellent. You're already growing. I just know it. You will be my finest creation, my magnum opus. The more you eat, the more you grow. And eventually, you will defeat the guardian of the treasure at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> you are ready now. Go forth and conquer the sea. Devour them all! <laughs> oh! Oh! Now, you are indeed a genetically modified superfish, created by a genius. Me. But you are still young and small. Try going out to the smaller fish near the surface. The deeper areas may still be a bit too dangerous for you. See a lot of fish over here. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hey. Um. Um. Come on, go down, would you? Come on, go down. Down. Let's go in the water. There we go. Wonderful. You are growing more powerful by the second. Venture forth. Those little wits in the shallows are no longer worthy of your time. It is time for you to chase after greater prey.
All right, I'm gonna cry and go deep now. We'll see if it works. There he is. The guardian of the treasure. Oh boy. The love's strong enough. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I flew away. I believe you died. But we uh we didn't give like too much death penalty. We just respawn you at the beginning. So yeah, you guys. Oh, okay. Try All right, should I stop? Are we good? And no, just keep going. Okay. You can play a video instead of uh, yeah, what, what, whatever. Oh, I didn't see this little meter here until just now. Okay, I'll quit and you guys can do a video. If I can quit. That sounds cute. A little, I found it a little hard to control because I had to get in the right zone. It was, um, I had to get maybe three or four feet away in order to make it work. It skipped like a little bit later in the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks. I died probably around here. Yeah. Those sneaky fish will ambush you and make you into sushi. Watch out! <laughs> Excellent! Oh, is that the sunken ship? I wonder what you can find there. Perhaps a lost treasure?
Right. Any questions for the team? I don't think. All right. Well, thank you very much. And I think that's that completes the viewing of world section of jury. Um, thank you, team. Uh, thank you, uh, TAs, and for the running of this and jury members. Uh, I think our next step is going to be to talk about this. Oh. Sounds good. Uh, I've been keeping my notes on paper. I'm typing them in now. I'll need a couple minutes. Yeah. So I think, uh, I mean, I'm, let me put the, the form in chat. Get this paste it in. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and stop our recording.